Ladies and gents, welcome to the Airliners Live Super Sunday Show. How are we all doing? And uh, what a way to start the show as we switch over to the main cam to see the Q8. A330 just arriving on 23 right today, slightly overcast weather-wise, but fingers crossed it stays dry. And uh, we've got Andy upstairs as usual on the camera. And uh, we've got Matt Smith locked into a call as well. Uh, how are you doing, mate? You okay? Morning, all. Hope everyone's well. Very, very good. Very good, mate. Um, we have a uh, <laughs> a delay for the start of your camera, Matt, just while... Um, I sort something out my end, but we can hear you and we'll be bringing you your camera in very, very shortly. Matt is posted up, of course, on remote cam. Matt cam, as we like to call it. And uh, we'll be bringing you all the apron action today as well. On your Manchester multi-cam live stream on LX. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're all settling in well. And a return to the Sunday show as well, obviously, last weekend. We didn't do one, and it's uh, nice to be back, of course. It really is, and of course it goes without saying, a very happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers who are watching in the chat. Our mums, to your mums, both past and present, we celebrate them today on Mother's Day. Let's get some airliners live hearts in the chat, shall we, folks? Um, for, as we say, all the mothers, past and present. Yeah, shout out to all the mums tuning in week in, week out. Here on Airliners Live. The world wouldn't function without you guys. Certainly wouldn't. And yeah, there is a bit of rain forecast this morning, but um, it doesn't seem too bad. And I think it should uh, alleviate later, but hopefully it avoids us. And Ian Kemp says, uh, this is the first time I've joined at the start time. Tuning in from Perth, Western Australia. It looks like... Uh, Authentic Manchester weather, it really is, mate. Welcome in, Ian. What time is it there, dude? Yeah, this is pretty standard for Manchester. Nothing out of the ordinary. This is quite a nice day in Manchester. <laughs> yeah, it's not too cold. Absolutely beautiful Q8 A330 200 in the retro scheme. Looking so good. 6 pm. Ah, okay. Not too bad. It's a good time to tune in. And Tony P kicking the show off with five airliners live gifted memberships. Cheers, Tony. Thank you very much, Pete. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ten out of ten. The Q8 retro kicking the show off here on your Super Sunday show. Airline is live. Can you check uh, downstairs, Andy, in a sec? What your bit rate is? Because if it's good enough, I'm just going to keep this charging and, and go straight in with this. Uh, yes, 22. Okay, just keep checking it every now and again. If it starts dropping, I'll bring it back up. But okay. I think it makes sense to yeah, use this high power charger for a bit on this. Yep. Yeah, the Q Wakes Retro looking awesome today. Kick it to show off in style. And like we said, we've got Matt Cam as well over on the apron, but he'll be live shortly. There's always a small technical gremlin that gets in the way of, of that, but uh, it's something that we can fix, of course. And Paul, thank you for the nine months of premium economy, saying, and long may it continue. Uh, loving the stream, guys. Cheers, Paul. Thank you for the uh, the premium economy baby, as we say. Uh, nine months and uh, many more into the future. Appreciate the continued support, dude. Yeah, thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate that. And Matt A350. 
with a three months of business class saving plus nine on Switch. Hey. Oh, wow. Nice. Dude. Thank you, Matt. Great name as well. Yeah, thank you, everyone, for uh, continued support already. Kicking the show off with a bit of style. Legends. Thank you, guys. So there we got a, uh, a gorgeous uh, PC-12, by the looks of it, starting up on the uh, signature apron. Nice. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the uh, Lanzarote show last weekend. I know a lot of people may have tuned into the midweek show anyway, but uh, a warm welcome back to Manchester for everybody. And, yeah, the weather's not fantastic today. Literally no blue in the skies, but uh, it's pretty standard this time of year. I mean, I know people like to tune in from all across the world and they tune in like, ah, standard Manchester weather, but this is what we're used to here. But lucky for us, we've got uh, Europe on our doorstep and places like the Canary Islands can be very warm and toasty this time of year. So a uh, couple of hours on a plane and you're, uh, you're set. And Beastie, thank you for the 11 months of business class. Same one month to go. Honestly, dude, you'll be getting yourself a red tail badge in one month's time. But thank you for the 11 months, dude. Thank you very much, mate. Hope you're well. And Tony C with a five months of premium economy. He's saying loving the shows. Thanks for the entertainment. So I appreciate it, dude. Thank you for being here. Matt, can you uh, just drop your exposure dial down a click or two yep. for me? We're going to kick the show off with the an aircraft taxi now. We've got Virgin Atlantic A33300 series off to Orlando, Florida. That's on the taxi out. We'll see that soon. And also Singapore Airlines Flight 52 off to Houston, Texas. Uh, and Airbus A350900 on the taxi out too. Awesome. Early morning that we did see the arrival here at Manchester Airport of a Virgin Atlantic A350-1000, which came in this morning from Bridgetown. Now, I'm not too sure about the full situation with that. Maybe someone in the chat can enlighten me. But Virgin Atlantic sometimes dabble with the A350 these days here at Manchester. And as far as I know, I think it's got something to, to do with uh, cruise um, cruise uh, liners uh, activity with Virgin Holidays and Virgin Cruises. Something to do with that because the one this morning came from Bridgetown. And I believe it's going to leave again. Apparently tonight, I've heard it through the grapevine, that it's going to be departing Manchester tonight at about 9 p.m. Uh, bound for somewhere like Cape Town. Uh, which, uh, as you may know, is not a regular service here at Manchester Airport. So, yeah, Virgin Atlantic still dabbling with the A350. They are set to return the 350s to regular service here at Manchester with the A350 1000s. And apparently, at the time, they're going to be running two per day to the likes of Orlando, Florida, from here in uh, Manchester. But there on Matt, can we see the first heavy departure of the show today, the Singapore A350 900. However, I think the, sorry, the Virgin Atlantic may get out before that. Um, but awesome, nice view there. Matt Cam is live. There we go, Matty boy. How's it looking up there today, Sunshine? Sound great. Breezy up here today, mate. Well, all's well. Thank you very much. Bit breezy. <laughs> Ain't easy being yeah, breezy. Yeah, a little breeze. <laughs> yep. Nice shot of the uh, Q8 just uh, in front of STS there as well. And uh, as you can see, a nice busy apron. Matt's picked up a 757 on the taxi out as well, folks. So an awesome start to today's show. If you are just tuning in, uh, you may be tuning in for the first time. A very warm welcome to Airliners Live. My name's Martin down here in the studio. Pushing all the buttons. we got Andy upstairs who's uh, disappeared. There he is. He's looking good. Uh, his name's Elgato today, guys. Oh. And uh, we're live here from Manchester Airport, the Virgin That's Atlantic. Off, uh, you was on a second ago. <laughs> Virgin Atlantic starts its taxi out. Yeah, I'm not sure. Seven's plugged in. Okay. That was the uh, Q8 on Matt Cam. <laughs> ah, lovely, that, wasn't it? Top that, wasn't it? That picked up on your vocal mic, that mic. Is that loud? <laughs> <laughs> and again. Ooh. Lovely jubbly. Um, no, sorry, you saying you're all on, Andy, are you? Yeah, should be. Okay. Go on, Q8, give us another. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that walkie emote in the chat for the A330. Give it us a howl. Yeah. 
Yes, here on the Super Sunday Show, we like to get Matt Cam involved. That means a camera elsewhere on the airfield, and you all know that we like to do the apron cam here on the Super Sunday Show. But guys, going into the end of March, start of April, is when Manchester Airport are going to change the hours of uh, runway two operations. Looks like a, uh, yes, so I, as far as I remember, Sunday used to be the same anyway for us. So I think they'd still be on single runway ops. They might change it this year. Um, they haven't released publicly the hours yet. But certainly in the midweek, they'll be on like dual runway ops during the show, um, by the looks of things anyway. Which means that potentially we can dabble with a midweek show uh, where we do a dual runway cam. So that means that, let's say they're on two threes like they are today, Mac could be over on the south side catching the scream and departures head on, nice and close, and we could be here on the RVP catching the overall airfield action. And then, even more exciting, I think, is zero fives, because here at the Runway Visitor Park, you get an awesome view of the arrivals, and then obviously over on uh, the opposite side, Mac could be over by Wood End Lane catching the awesome, awesome arrival shots. Probably the best shots you can catch at Manchester Airport is over there. Yes, there are improvements we want to make to Matt Cam. We've definitely proved the concept and we're really, really excited, guys, with... Uh, how Matt Cam's doing. Um, I think I'm, I'm not speaking out of turn when I say you're enjoying it as well, Matty boy. Absolutely loving it, mate. Different perspective for me. It's brilliant. Mega, mega. So, yeah, I think there's a lot we can do with Matt Cam, guys. And uh, hopefully, uh, like I say, you guys are enjoying it. And um, we can look at bringing you some more locations around the airfield. It is the beauty of having a completely remote camera that we can literally take you guys anywhere around the airfield um, and bring it into our Super Sunday show and hopefully the midweek show as well, guys. So um, an awesome shot there of all the departures. Uh, this this really does show off the uh, variation we have here at Manchester um, as we see an awesome flight control check on the Singapore A350 as well. And uh, as we switch over to remote cam there, it is a great... Um, that was making a bit of a racket earlier on, just currently uh, taxiing back to stand now. Um, so a real full airfield perspective here on the Airliners Live Super Sunday show. Uh, Mrs. Airliners Live's in the chat. She's going to be spending time with her mum and dad. And her brother's going to be coming over today as well. So uh, a little family get-together. And uh, I hope you have a really nice day. She's got plenty of cakes in. A mm. little bit, uh, a little bit upset about that. I've asked her to save me a couple of the old jammy donuts, so <laughs> I'll be having them when I get home. No custard. No custard. Well, no. I don't custard do. I can't eat them, but I'll, I'll still, I'll still have them. You know. You just look at them on the shelf. <laughs> I'm going to see my mum later, but uh, obviously, yes, yeah, Sam got a few presents this morning. Nice as well. May take one click up on you as well, Andy, if we can on main camp. I was exposed, you looking here, okay? Perfect, Matt. Thank you, mate. And the Ryanair uh, just turned in from Marseille. And this is the. Uh, the exact aircraft that took us down to Lanzarote last week. G. Rook on the reg. UK Echo. One of the Ryanair UK aircraft. Quite an old one, this. I think it was about 14 or 13 years old from memory. Had the old uh, Ryanair cabin interior style, which uh, are not the comfiest in the world. Certainly improved a lot, Ryanair, but... I don't think comfort has, but the uh, the quality of the interior has. I had quite the stark contrast when we flew back on a max. Finn Air and Breyer on the roll now.
great shot there, heading back to Helsinki. And next departure, Virgin Atlantic 8.330, already starting her takeoff roll straight away. Turn your volumes up for this, guys and girls. That was awesome. Stunning shot of the climb out as well on Matt Cam, following it out 10 out of 10 for us. And uh, Dynamic Duo UK, thank you very much for sending in a £10 uh, super chat to the channel saying, Hi guys, I'm lurking in the background today, but so far, a great stream. All the best from myself um, and the two mini sausages. Hey. G Dog. G Dog. Love it. Thank you very much for supporting the channel today. Yeah, huge donation. Thank you. I've got a new um, plane spotting uh, dream bucket list location as well, which I think I've mentioned before, but I was really watching a, a show yesterday from there. Uh, well, it was, it, was a, it was a rerun, kind of like a, a, a old highlight video from Sid Squad, who did a live show from Bangkok International. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh, that, didn't, that airport, man. That is like L.A., but I don't know. It seems busier. I don't think it actually is busier, but, man, the amount of, like, variety you get there is nuts. Just feels mad, does it? Yeah, obviously that's a very long way. I think it's probably a longer journey than L.A. for us. I've but, never seen any content from there, I'll be honest. I'll have a look. It's very similar to L.A. where you've got the kind of parallel runways, you know, north and south, and you can sit on the south side and watch the taxi and out go parallel with the runway and take off and you've got so many heavies there it's just like endless A380s and and uh, Dreamliners and, and all sorts and on Matt Cam we got another awesome noisy departure coming up as the Jet 2 757 Jet 2 Holidays taxis out it's heading out to Lanzarote And just departing on the main runway. The uh, PC-12, I believe, is it? Yes. Their Raven Airs. A nice shot there of the aircraft climbing out. Used hardly any runway. Do sound great as well. Yeah, they have loads of power. You can actually see these at um, um, Barton Aerodrome, yes. believe it or not. If you're uh, lucky enough, they actually fly in and out of there sometimes. Yeah, you usually want to time it on a day when there's a football on, I think, is probably the best time to catch one. Yep. Yeah, and various other uh, sports uh, charters that they may fly. Obviously, bought an aerodrome recently rebranded. You guys seen their new branding being released there. They've gone back to their roots with the name Barton Aerodrome. And um, of course, it was for a while it was known as City Airport Barton, wasn't it? Yeah, I think everyone still called it Barton, though. Didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Barton, it's just a, a single word that you, you synonymize with, uh, with, with that airfield. Yeah. Whereas City Airport, it's kind of like, oh, you've got another City Airport down south. And, you know, Manchester City Airport, sometimes people might go to Manchester Airport, you mean? No, Manchester City Airport. Yeah. And, um, and and obviously it's on the doorstep of of, uh, of like Trafford Park and obviously the, the the main motorway network the M60 and stuff so it was obviously right in saying that but it's got so much heritage though the city airports Barton the aerodrome um, the ATC tower there is believed to be the oldest still operating in the whole of Europe uh, so that still operates today amazing. 
And Amazing. Jonathan, sorry, thank you very much for the four pound uh, super chat. It's actually just popped up on screen. We got it working, guys. Hey. Voila. And uh, Brian, thank you so much for your five pound super chat saying hello from Brian and Linda in Coventry. Have a great stream. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for tuning in and supporting the channel today. And thanks again, Jonathan, um, for your donation, mate. That's very kind of you guys. Thank you very, very much. And what have we got here? Singapore A350 900. Beginning its takeoff roll on 2 3 right. Let's turn the volume up for this, guys. that shot on Matt Cam where the plane just goes through the glass of the tower yeah. oh that that is the one that is the one guys pretty epic oh what's that taxi now is that a 757 seven? of main cam it is indeed Alpha November on the reg the Jet 275 on the way out I believe this was off to Lanzarote you said didn't you uh, I believe so yeah and uh, Tennis, thank you very much for tuning in from Frankfurt on Twitch. Welcome in, Twitch crew, if you are just tuning in. Can evolve, say hello. What an awesome place Frankfurt is for plane spotting. That's a bit of a heaven. One of the best in Europe for uh, spotting, especially since you guys still got the, uh, the, the queen of the skies operating commercially. Awesome to see Iceland Air on the stream with the blue tailed Iceland Air 737 Max. What terminal do Iceland Air use these days? I think it's one, I think. Might be two. Could certainly follow her in. I believe it's one, actually, come to think of it. And Paul Brooks just saying hit the like button, guys. Yes, do that indeed. If you're watching on YouTube, really helps us out massively if you hit that like button. Nice free way to support the stream this morning. Info coming into the stream from our partner Radar Box. Uh, we'll be bringing you more info on that as and when we can very shortly. Some new integration coming in. We do actually have a code to use now, so mods I will send that over if you would like to sign up. For a radar box account, Airliners Live will get a very small uh, bonus for you guys doing that. So if you were considering setting yourselves up an account, I will uh, pass the code through to our mods in a moment because uh, I'll be honest, I've forgotten to check it and I think it's in our emails. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. At the reg of this TF Ice. You'd assume that would be like the flagship <laughs> aircraft with that reg. Okay, code to use is Airliners Live 20. Airliners Live 20. Jet 757 blasting out in the stunning dot com scheme. Good morning, Tina. Welcome. Yes, and uh, a very happy Mother's Day to all the mums tuning in today. Hope you have a fantastic day. <coughs> How many terminals are in Manchester? In total, there's three public terminals. Numbered uh, one, two, and three. Two is the most recently to be uh, renovated and is the most modern and biggest terminal. Three is generally just served by Ryanair, British Airways, and a couple of small airlines, Vueling and uh, a lot of regional uh, flyby did operate there, as well as uh, currently operating like uh, Urini, Eastern Airways, uh, Logan Air, and then all the rest. Um, I mean, there's a couple at Terminal one such as easyjet as you're seeing here 
I know Sun Express, Turkish Airlines, operate from Terminal 1. I believe Iceland Air. And then uh, the majority operate from Terminal 2. Most notably, the A380, though, still operates from Terminal 1, though. As uh, Terminal 1 has the only gate that can facilitate an A380 with jet bridges. Although there are remote stands, I think there's two other remote stands that can facilitate the Super Jumbo. Um, Terminal 1 has the uh, capacity or the ability to hold the Super Jumbo on a, a stand with jet bridges. That's all going to change though. They're currently in the process of renovating Terminal 2 further to create a new pier that's going to have um, two new A380 stands with jet bridges. And they are apparently uh, planning on just removing Terminal 1 entirely and redoing it. He's just just uh, taxiing in here. There's another aircraft on final approach as well. Was we'll been around and catch that in a moment. Ringway uh, radar box is an online uh, tracker. It's an online tracker. Yep. Perfectly fine for here at Manchester Airport. You can see all the movements on the ground, in the air, and across the UK and across the world. I do love radar box because I think, especially for the stream here, I think the view is really nice. How you got the uh, the logos on screen, and nice clear view of where where things are going. It's very customizable as well. And if you're watching in other countries, uh, you can actually listen to the ATC through it as well. Are they going to demolish T1 or are they going to close it until they refurb? I'm not sure the full details, Alex. Um, they did a Q&A um, the other day, if anyone's seen it on Instagram, where they, they, they mentioned that they were going to, quote, mothball T1. So I don't know what fully that means, but they're going to probably completely redo it, I'd imagine. If I'm honest, because T1, if anyone's ever flown from Manchester Airport, Terminal 1 and 3 are uh, quite outdated, especially when you compare it to like a lot of European airports. It certainly needs a, a bit of work. Sadster, welcome back. Returning VIP business class for nine months. Thank you very much, dude. And Welcome back. Slick Nick, thank you very much for the £5. Super Chat saying, hey guys, loving the stream. Can you wish Angelina a happy Mother's Day? From her fur baby, Layla, please. We certainly can. Very happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Hope happy you have Mother's a great Day. day. Ryanair 737 Max 8200 touching down. 2-3 right in use today during the live show. And God Kerr tuning in um, from uh, Manitoba, Canada. Love Manchester. Uh, went there 10 years ago. Uh, I went to the IT ITV studios to see Coronation Street is made. Oh, nice, dude. Wow. Hope you had a great trip. Hope you managed to see some planes at the same time. I wonder if they still do, do the tours of that because I think my mum did the tour of the, the studio. Yeah. I don't think they do actual tours anymore I'm not sure but we're going to cut away from this Ryanair Max guys because pushing back on Matcam we have the TUI Dreamliner an awesome shot there of the aircraft being pushed back that's going to be pushed right back so it can just make the right turn onto the taxiway but uh, this is the bonus of the multicam setup guys um, the 7 5 rolling as being well being able to bring you these uh, these awesome views Just double check your audio for me, Matt, on the camera as well, because I'm not getting any audio from you. Off to Lanzarote, Arecife Airport. 
Majetsu 757. What a beautiful aircraft to fly on. Crazy how the 75s are, are the oldest aircraft you can fly in and out of Manchester. And in my opinion, one of the most comfy. Now, actual comfort on the bottom and back, not so much because they, they use the Jetsu seats. But in terms of like pressurization and noise and turbulence, I find that the 75 is really, really nice. Back with Matt Cam on the awesome shot of the 2E Dreamliner being pushed back as Joanna Smith returns for 13 months of premium economy. Watching with mum, dad, and the free poodles. Ah, oh, no way. Thank you very much for tuning in and thanks for returning for 13 months of membership. Yeah, red tail. Easy Jets A320 Neo touching down on uh, 2 3 right at the moment. It's the hilarious Easy Jet. I'm sure you'll all see why. And don't forget to share the stream around, guys. Let's get plenty of people in. We're going to be bringing you all of the aviation action today until about 1.30, uh, max of 2 o'clock, because, of course, it is Mother's Day. We've got things to be doing today. Of course, yeah. Um, and also, um, I believe United are playing about 4 o'clock. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Our journey home is going to get quite crazy from about half two onwards. Easy Jack Neo just vacating two, three rights. In from Geneva. And if you are into your flight simulation, guys, make sure you join our Discord server. As uh, me and John have been doing a few flights on Vatsim recently. And you're more than welcome to come and join us. So uh, just follow the links in the chat for Discord. Morning, Dad. And Doc Finley, thank you very much for the 25 months of Twitch Prime membership. Saying keep up the great work. That's a long time, mate. Thank you very much, dude. Another Ryanair rolling. Oh, is this just landed? It's just taking off. NG. But I think one of the expectations with uh, upgrading the terminal uh, terminals to be more modern and uh, bigger and all that is also it's going to attract nice uh, new airlines apparently that's their goal so they have lots of plans of expansion in that regard it'd be certainly nice to see a, a return to a lot of the long haul operators uh, especially like the Asian and American operators here at Manchester although we see so many European hops especially with the low costers yeah more long call please yeah and the thing about Terminal 2 is it's very it's very good for that it's very uh, it's very purpose built for the long call operators right now touching down from Copenhagen a two hour flight for this one 737-800 is it raining in Manchester? not at the moment no that, there was a bit of dribble before but but pretty good as you can see the clouds are looking pretty Pretty dark today, though. The Salford Red Devils also have a home game at three o'clock. Oh gosh. Okay, well it's gonna. That's really gonna mess them up. Way up then. <laughs> Man United and the Red Devils playing at the same time in the same place. Nice. I thought the idea was like when you got like two big football, uh, sorry, sports teams. They're meant to play different days and stuff. You know, like that's the whole point of like. Yeah. Because I don't know about Manchester, but I know in Liverpool, for example, like Liverpool and Everton will never play home games on the same day. So in that case, guys, today's show is going to wrap up at 1.30 <laughs> when it's supposed to wrap up. Nabila, hello to you. And Lee Davies, you're in the chat too. Hello. And Amiman Travels. Welcome, guys. Hope and you're Loopy, doing well. Loopy's in the chat too, so best behaviour, everyone. G2E on the taxi out. And on the uh, main runway, the uh, Jet 2A321. Yeah. 
Welcome back for 23 months, crew seat member. Gold tail, one month away. Great stream again, guys. Nice, nice. dude. Sorry, Andy. Jetsu still only have a three Airbus aircraft here at Manchester. I don't know what they're going to get this summer, though, in terms of leasing uh, short term. Uh, obviously, we know that the, they usually go ahead and lease the A330 uh, 200s from Air Tanker. But uh, there's a bit of speculation that they might be using another company this year as well, called World to Fly. Who I think they have A330s, maybe Neos as well. I I heard a rumor that there's going to be one of the 330s actually in the holidays scheme as well, mm. which uh, may be nice to catch if that materializes. Yeah, I can't see why they do that, but that would be awesome. And then uh, pushing back as well on the apron uh, to a Dreamliner, another one on the way out. So the first one out to Montego Bay, the second one not pinging up. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be repositioned, to be honest, um, as it got pushed back off the remote stand. But we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on that. As a Logan Air flight out to uh, the Isle of Man, departs 2-3 right and uh, Andy following in the arrival. Next to landing from Amsterdam, EasyJet A319. The sporty bus just about to complete a one hour, 20 minute flight. Cheers, Paul. And Lee saying, yeah, Manchester United and Man City won't play at home on the same day. But... Okay, they're pretty far apart though, them two stadiums, but I mean, you know, the same kind of like motorway network in it and stuff. And they're two massive teams. Because in, in, in Liverpool, you have Liverpool and Everton, which are, what, that must be like a mile apart, like not even that. Does anyone, anyone know the distance? Bill Stewardson. I'm, I'm assuming what you mean in here, Bill. I'm not, I, I hope I'm right. He says, RL is a far superior sport. Now, I hope you're talking about Rocket League, dude. <laughs> I, I know what he means, though. He'll mean rugby league, won't he? We will mean rugby league, well, but listen. <laughs> when we we'll, say RL, it's we're, different. We're, that's different for <laughs> us, mate. That's Rocket League. <laughs> Me, John, Andy, all just going full send it on the uh, on the old Competit online competitive yeah, leagues. Yeah, yeah. Maybe she, get Zach involved. Yeah, or Sam. And Sam. Yeah, she's she's getting really good these days, Sam. I, uh, I, me, I, me, John and Zach kind of started taking it quite serious at one point. <laughs> and uh, actually got our uh, platinum rank, just saying. Wow, I've never Res gotten... Respect us, chat. <laughs> is platinum above gold, is it, or is that yeah. diamond? I can't remember which way around it goes. Yeah, it's platinum. I don't think I've ever had platinum. We need to do a, a competition sometime, though, and try and win one of them. Yeah. Yeah, Liverpool and Everton are only one mile apart. That is crazy. Too huge football teams here in the UK or soccer and Gord Kerr says I know the world leaders will probably be flying into Heathrow for the King Charles coronation it'd be great if you could cover their planes coming in definitely uh, could consider that one. yeah we actually had a special visitor when uh, was it the Queen's funeral I think it was where we had the Qatari the Qatar Amiri flight 747-8 yeah. came to Manchester Airport just a couple of months ago and uh, we were super lucky to catch that one of the rare flights uh, that actually left Manchester Airport early <laughs> off the blocks about 15 minutes early yeah we did reach out to some locations actually at Heathrow to uh, not stream there regularly just to uh, do a one-off show every few months or something like that um, and the locations that we reached out to are apparently, um, apparently, guys, um, <laughs> oh, no. having some work done. Yeah, so you're not allowed to so go up. You, yeah, no I'm one's not... allowed up there <laughs> a, apart from one streamer. Yeah, because they're having refurb work done. Yeah, they've been having refurb done um, for a year, guys. And... Um, <laughs> They asked us to contact them back in, in what was it, six months or something like that, which in, we did. In, and, in the new year, they said. And they're still, uh, they're still having work done. And oh, okay. Other people are still streaming from there, so maybe it's just us that are at risk of getting hurt from the work being done. I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe it's, it must just be a huge job. Yeah, and it's two completely independent hotels having 
worked on it exactly the same time. <laughs> whilst the same stream is streamed. It's weird, that, isn't it? That yeah. the, the same excuse will be used across two or so. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, just touching down the uh, Sun Express Max in from Antalya. So we tried, guys. We tried, but... Yeah. In my opinion, I, I, you know, like Myrtle Avenue could be amazing for spotting and photography, which is like that kind of public feel that you can spot from. Yeah. But for me, like for video and live streams, it's just not that. But you don't, you don't see... You just see the plane fly over and then that's it. I'd rather have like a place where you can see at least some degree of taxiing, kind of runway action, maybe ramp action as well. Yeah, because that's the thing with Heathrow. And unless you're elevated... You, it's just boring, I think. It's, it's, it you, know, is, you, just, you don't see anything, really, you know. Manchester Airport on the flip side. Absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10. And um, also on Matt Cam Taxi now, we've got another Dreamliner, guys, so stick around for that. Jake Simpson returning for 11 months on Twitch. Hey, dude, hope you're doing well, mate. Yo. Hope you are well, my mate. That's an OG name, Jake Simpson. He's been yeah, around for a while. He's a legend. Absolutely yeah. legend, Jake. Yeah, the Sun Express Max touching down, coming in from Antalya. Yeah, I know, guys. That's not that's not a dig at Big Jet, by the way, because at the end of the day, Jerry's got some great locations there. We're, we're just a bit upset with the hotels, to be honest. Making obviously making excuses to not allow anyone else up there. That's 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 the issue. We've got no issue with Jerry whatsoever. It's just a bit disappointing now. Like I say, the hotels are uh, not allowing anybody else up there and quite obviously making excuses so that they don't have to publicly say that they're not allowing anybody else up there. Yeah. Um, but next to land here on 2-3 uh, right in from uh, Paris is the EasyJet uh, A320. <laughs> Ian, I, I wouldn't even have a clue saying you must be bored now that Love Island's finished. I didn't even Ian, know it was on. <laughs> I've got no idea, mate. If you want to talk about Love Island, you need to speak to Owen. He tries to make some he tries to make some rumours in the community that I sit there watching Love Island. I have never once watched a single episode of it. I think I did once back in like maybe six years ago. Oh yeah. But I I, I think I managed like five minutes maybe before going what is this and then just putting some YouTube on <laughs> Jake's here for the vibes before he has to go to work nice dude thanks for tuning in hope you have a good day in work the choice of exclusivity deals exactly I mean you know I, I, again I, I don't you know I think the main thing about what we're saying is like we're not bothered about exclusivity deals you know you've got your own places and stuff but it's like when you have to lie on behalf of someone or you know you can't justify what you're saying like I don't, I don't even mind people being like oh this is exclusive sorry I would have more respect if they turned around and just said nah sorry guys we've we've got a deal and yeah, like, that's why, it why, why, why lie about it yeah <laughs> you know because two completely separate hotels both using the exact same excuse when they're not even linked to each other mm. while simultaneously it's quite obvious that it's still being used <laughs> yeah. you know that's just weird and like I say, it's, um, and we're not, like I say, this is not a dig at Jerry whatsoever because we have our own location here at Manchester. We, we know how it works. It's just, we would wish the hotels would just be honest and just say that's, that's what it is. You know? <laughs> yeah. Honesty is quite an easy thing, I find. Because it just wastes everyone's time, you know, saying, oh, check back with us in a few months, you know. It's just, don't yeah. waste our time, just say no. You know? Yeah. But Tom and Anne, thank you very much for gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community. Really appreciate that. Cheers, guys. Hope you're well. Thank you. That's really kind of you guys. Are you guys at the uh, the RVP today? I know you guys were not here. Was it last weekend? Or the weekend before? Tui Dreamliner now on a roll. Let's get a recording of this. Beautiful girl departing Manchester Airport. The only one of those programs I watched, guys, 
for one series, and I've not watched any of the others, but I did watch it for one series uh, with Mrs. Airliners Live, was uh, Married at First Sight Australia. <laughs> All right. Well, what, what's that about? Well, you, you, do you just have to marry, just have to marry someone who've, who's been partnered with them by experts and they basically just see what happens. Does it ever actually work? Like, um, it has actually, yeah. Does it ever not work? Yeah, most of the time. Oh, not very expert then, are they? <laughs> <laughs> But it is the Sun Express just pulling up on stand on uh, on Matt Camp. Beautiful shot there. Looking good, Matty boy. Looking good, mate. Love it. Love when this Sun Express bikes on the end stand here. It's mega. Yeah, really good shot, isn't it? Look at that, Look at that guy. It's absolutely 10 out of 10. Just touched down on 2-3 right. We've also got a Lugan here. Uh, rather looking quite plain today. Where's its uh, shortbread tin gone? We'll switch over to that in a plain, second. Plain. plain, plain. Very plain, plain. Lupus saying there's only... Nice. Lupus saying there's only 200 likes to 1K as well. Guys, that is super wow. quick. If we could hit 200 likes Good by... Nowadays, I know, if we could do it by the first hour, guys, that would be amazing. If you've not hit, not hit the like button yet, please do so on YouTube. Tina saying she really enjoyed Married at First Sight. Yeah. Like I say, I only watched the one series. And then, um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the others, really. Like, what is it? Made in Chelsea or what is, I don't know what, Love Island or... Because it's just rowing, isn't it? 24-7. Yeah. <laughs> who's done the, what or who? Who's, who's done this? Who's done who's that? Slept, like, listen, get yourself a PlayStation, get on Call of Duty and <laughs> give it a rest. Get some airliners live on. Keep it local, lads. Certainly enjoy your shows. Great watching planes go over the house and land at Manchester. Thank you very much, Patricia. Yeah, we just wanted to do a little special show here and there. Yeah. But, uh, like I said, it is how it is. It is how it is. Of course. But we love Manchester, nonetheless. We do. And like I said, we're super excited because... As I mentioned right at the start of the show, um, in about two weeks' time, they'll be changing the runway hours here at Manchester Airport, which means that potentially during the midweek shows especially, we might have dual runway ops during the live shows, which means that uh, potential for a dual runway cab. Yes. Which, uh, I don't think that's ever been done at Manchester before. So we'll have the camera over here, which will be capturing the arrivals in great view. And then, obviously, you'll have potentially Matt on the south side capturing departures really close. Yeah. That'd be mega, Matt, if we can get you over on south side, for especially for zero fives. Wherever you need, Wherever you need me, mate, I'll, too, I'll go. So there yep. you go. And, you, you're, legend. and uh, Jack, Dad in the chat as well saying, uh, how does Matt feel about winning the karaoke competition? <laughs> <laughs> well, what can I say? Mate, you are, that is a unsold talent, that, mate. When everyone sent me the okay, clips of you, I was like, what? Where did this come from? Matty Boy Smith on the old karaoke. <laughs> Better than shark on the karaoke, I can't lie. I know, I was going to say, what, you didn't there practicing on a Friday night or what? No, mate, it's just natural, that. Yeah, natural. Dorsal tones, mate. <laughs> Mate, fair play. Absolutely smashed it. Yeah, I, I thought it'd be a tough Wait, competition. Good question is, one minute, Andy. Go on. Big question is, when's Martin doing it? Oh my gosh, that'd be uh, something else. That listen, I uh, I need to I need to find find a song for me first. No problem. We'll see. We'll help you out with that. No problem. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll give it a go. Matt, Matt, Matt didn't have a clue what song he was doing until like five minutes before we we, we entered him into it. Really? Yeah, I'll go on. Do that song. Go on. <laughs> instinct, instinct, boys. Instinct. Yeah, got instinct. Do that song. Ellingus uh, Regional, just. Uh, Depart uh, sorry, just arriving here at Manchester from the uh, awesome city of Belfast. British registered as well. So Air Lingus. Jet 275 uh, Alpha Bravo pushing back here. Nice. nice Air Regional UK.
we had a donation to the Kofi page earlier as well, about ten minutes ago. I'll read it out. Malky with a five pound Kofi donation. Saying good morning, Andy, Mark, Matt, and all. Great stream again. Dual cameras are a game changer. Airliners live do it better. Malky. Cheers, Malky. Really appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Thank you for the Kofi donation. Appreciate anyone who uses that platform. Kofi is a another website you can go to to support the channel. Uh, and the best thing about Kofi is that uh, we get 100% of the donation. Um, all goes through the channel anyway, so means that... Um, your money goes further. So even if it's a, a little few pennies and things, it all adds up massively. And I really do appreciate those um, sort of leaving the comfort of YouTube and Twitch to make that very kind. Yes, uh, thank you very much. And next to land, Andy, we're just seeing the approach lights now will be the Emirates A380. Nice. King of the Skies, which was rumoured today to be the, uh, the new Emirates scheme. Uh, sadly, that didn't come to fruition. Yeah, we're keeping our fingers crossed for that one. Yeah, has anyone in the chat seen the new unveiled Emirates livery that uh, got unveiled uh, on their socials a couple of days ago? Yeah, and what do you think about it as well, guys? Let us know in the chat. And uh, Tom and Anne say, uh, with a 9.99 Steve chat, saying, get Matt Cam and Uber Eats for lunch. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, not guys. Bad, not a bad idea. Really appreciate that. Thanks for supporting the channel again. And Tina's saying there's a program on Wednesday, a new series, Race Across the World. Think you will enjoy it. A group of people have to travel from A to B without flying. That sounds interesting. <laughs> it's like up your street, that, isn't it? Yeah, I do like that. <laughs> <one video. laughs> A380 next to land on the main runway as the Tui Dreamliner is also starting its role. No prizes for our next arrival. We'll just 3,600 mile flight. And she goes. And yeah, next arrival, King of the Skies. Let's get them King of Motes in the chat, shall we, folks? There's the Emirates A380 800 series arriving from Dubai this morning. Emirates Flight 17 here at Manchester Airport live in 4K on your Airliners Live Super Sunday show. Don't forget to smash that like button for us, folks, as well. Get involved in the chat if you are new. We have an awesome community here on the channel. We'd love to get you involved. All you have to do is say hello in the chat. Let us know you're new and you'll get a very warm welcome. If you can't talk in the chat, it's because you need to click the subscribe button. It's completely free. And after a minute, you will be able to talk in the chat. So uh, get involved, guys, and get involved in this fantastic community we have here on the channel. Lovely dollop of spray there from them in board engines going full reverse thrust to slow the king of the skies down smoothly on two three rides and using a lot of runway in doing so and as a result that rain that's been uh, falling earlier this morning 
Some of the liquid still on the runway over there. And the King of the Sky is just locating that and giving us a real spectacular show in 4K, of course. What do you think of the landing, guys and girls? And yeah, the new scheme, it's like a 3D effect on the flag on the tail there. Plus uh, red winglets as well, which I think look super, super smart. Yeah, they do look really good. We're going to catch the King of the Skies taxiing back past us now. Will we get a wave? Taxiing out on Matcam, uh, France, uh, back to Paris. Philip saying Manchester can usually provide the spray. Yes. Waffle Coffee TV on Twitch. Hello, welcome. If you're watching on Twitch, get involved in the chat. If you want to watch in glorious 4K, head over to our YouTube channel. Just search for Airliners Live. Waffle Coffee. I like that name. Yes, the Jetsu 757 here on main camp, taxiing out. And it's probably, arguably, the best looking of the fleet. It's the dot com scheme with the winglets. This is going to sound amazing. Yeah, Alpha Bravo, one of my favorites. She's going to blast out shortly on 2 3 right. Don't think a 7 5 looks, looks right without the winglets. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I think the winglets are definitely a, a good addition. I know a lot of the uh, old 7.5s did get the winglets retrofitted, and they are a uh, addition that reduces a lot of the drag and thus uh, increasing the fuel consumption. Sorry, decreasing the fuel consumption. And uh, Mac on Twitch is saying, uh, this is an amazing stream. Welcome in, dude. We're live every Wednesday and Sunday, bringing you all the aviation action from Manchester. We do love your aviation. Follow the channel. Are you guys on Twitch getting 4K as well? Yeah, but it'll be a really bad bit rate. Yeah. I think Let the max know. out at like 5 or 7 or something. Oh. of the sky is probably going to hold for a Ryanair 737-800 that is potentially going to vacate ahead Simon saying a Saxon Air Embraer Phenom 300 has just departed the Isle of Man from Manchester due at 11.30. Nice, we will keep an eye open for that. Thank you very much. Sweet. And Alex saying, I recently got into aviation. This is a perfect place to hang out and watch some cool planes. It really is, dude. Welcome to the stream. And it is a mighty, I'm going to say 
I love that shot the engines really get a sense of scale a super jumbo aircraft here from the runway visitor park Manchester airport people get right up against the fence line and seeing the huge A380 up close You'll have de all the detail and the rivets on the body there. Making that left hand turn there. I wonder if you can see the rear, the rear wheels helping with the steering there. You see them turning as well. It's not just it must take some serious hydraulic power to twist them wheels around like that. <laughs> yeah. Especially if the aircraft's stationary. Kevin saying, I'm taking my mum on the A380. She's 84. Oh, wow. Well. That'd be fantastic. I she'll love that. What an aircraft to fly as well. Yeah, those engines are huge. And Matt picking up an aircraft which is on the STS hangar. Uh, is it Greek <laughs> Airline, Matt? That's Sky. Yeah, Sky, I think. Yeah, Green Airline makes Greek Airline. Is it Sky Express, is it? Or is it Sky? <laughs> yeah. It says Sky on the side. Greece is bliss. Oh, there okay. you go. Quite a nice scheme. I think, I, I, think I, uh, I think I saw him uh, moving the like, uh, cafe around on Friday when we down here. Ah, okay. There you go. Another new livery on the channel, courtesy of STS. I, I, I think STS is a great addition to Manchester Airport. Obviously, we had um, air livery, which was responsible for bringing in some nice movements for us. But uh, SCS with their uh, maintenance, we are getting some nice special visitors. Yeah, SCS have been fantastic. Very recent addition to Manchester Airport. Take it over what was formerly the Thomas Cook maintenance hangar. And they've already pulled in a lot of really cool aircraft, including one that we've seen on the Wednesday show. The uh, A33300 series, which blasted out of Manchester, heading off to France. And we're very fortunate to have so many football charters as well. Uh, the last two Wednesday shows, we've seen special visits from High Flight A340s. I uploaded a clip of that to our YouTube channel. In 4K, on the Wednesday show, we've seen the High Flight A340-300 in the High Flight Scheme. Stick around. Next to the pod, now lined up on 2-3 right, is the Jet 2 757. And a massive thanks to Forbes, who's been a member for seven months in a row, saying, where is the time when always great streaming? Sending in that membership recommitment whilst the A380 was taxiing in. Thank you very much, dude. Great to have you with us. Aidan Eyewitness saying, I, as a child, I used to love watching Thunderbirds. The A380 is the Thunderbirds. A thunder, a th thunderbirds come you, true. You what? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, oh my God, Thunderbirds, what a show that I was. I never got into it, me. Do you not? No. Even like, obviously I'm not that old, but even when I was a kid, it was still like a big deal from what I remember. I used to have, like, it was all puppets, wasn't it? Yeah, I used to have like the, the models of all the little the ships and stuff here. They weren't like Gemini jets or anything. They just <laughs> <laughs> One of 200. Sound there, the Jet 2 757. Lima Sierra Alpha Bravo on the edge of the dot com liveried 757 200 series. 
Rolls Royce RB211 engines screaming out of Manchester. If you are just tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the Airliners Live Super Sunday Show. My name is Martin. Uh, down here pressing the buttons, we got Andy upstairs on the main cam, and we got Mr. Matt Smith on our remote cam, bringing you all of the apron action today. So uh, stick around and uh, get yourselves involved, guys. We've got an awesome aviation community here, and uh, want to bring you all of the awesome action. Andy's got pork pie teeth. <laughs> That's a good reference. <laughs> Andy's got pork pie teeth. Yeah, do you remember that? I've, I don't. Mork brie, mork rice. I've, what? Do you not remember that? No. Oh, you've not seen the trailer for Airline is Live? Right at the end. Oh, oh right. Okay, I know what you mean now. <laughs> right, an aircraft lined up on um, the runway, it looks like. Is that for Air France? It'll be the Air France that taxied out before, yeah. Yeah, A320 heading back to Paris, Charles de Gaulle Airport. Yeah, that Saxon Air's not too far away either, and the Qatar Airways 777-300ER um, Bravo Oscar Echo on the reg today of the all-white-bodied Qatar Airways 777. The visibility's really improved as well. The hills of the moors in the background there now looking uh, pretty colourful. Spring is on the way. Uh-oh, there's a balloon about to cross the active runway. A balloon? Oh, yeah. Can we see that? There it is. <laughs> what on earth? I hope that's not come from the RVP. It looked like it came from, like, further afield. <laughs> what does it say? Anyone read that? Luckily, there's nothing um, on the runway right now. Going to take off. Or land. I am super excited to see this uh, Qatar Airways triple though. Should Can be, you give us a shot of the mound, says uh, Neil. I'm thinking of getting a trip down. We, can, we can't zoom in too much on people's faces, of course, but there it is. You can see it extends right out. You can uh, see uh, over the fence, and uh, if you uh, bring your camera down, get some awesome pictures as well. Yeah, it's really good to the mound. Great for photography. Especially when on two threes. In fact, two threes and zero fives are both really good. Because on two threes, you get the uh, the head on vacating shots from the runway as well as the, the runway itself. But also on zero fives, you get ridiculously good touchdown shots. And David, thank you very much, mate. Saying Sunday morning TV at its best. Thank you very much. Here's that uh, Fenomen from the Isle of Man. It was uh, put in the chat by a viewer earlier on. Goff on the reg, or GDF, is that? Yeah, GDF, rather. Terry Edwards saying, did anyone make the Tracy Island from Blue Peter? Anyone in the chat make that? Make the Tracy Island. Yeah, the um, Did you Thunderbirds watch? Island, didn't it? Hmm. I don't know. I didn't. No. I never really watched Blue T Peter very often. That was, like, quite a long-running show. Is it still, mm. like... It might even still be a thing now. Nice livery, though, on this uh, Fennon. Yeah, I love it. Looks great. Also, uh, pushing back, maybe Matt caught it. The uh, Aer Lingus A330-300. Yeah, he certainly has. We've got it on the camp. Nice. Heading off to Bridgetown, Barbados. Aer Lingus UK aircraft. Golf Echo India Lima Alpha on the reg. We may have to look at a second network for Matt Cam, I think. Because yeah. he's... Uh, network has not been behaving itself for a while mm. but uh, doing our best bringing it you as and when we can 
Yep. If you want to support the, uh, the Matt Camp, of course, not only do we pay uh, Matt a little bit uh, for his uh, his hard work, but also uh, we have to pay for all the networks and uh, camera and equipment and things like that. And uh, if you want to help support the channel and everything we do, feel free to send in a super chat, or more importantly, if you're not a member of Airliners Live yet, I'd highly recommend getting involved with that. Because uh, for just three pound forty nine, uh, you can get access to the VIP lounge, the VIP chat as well, all the emotes in the chat, the tower badge next to your name, and uh, with the higher tiers, you can get discounts on our merchandise store. Yes. Get yourself signed up, guys. Support the channel. We do our very best to bring you the very best quality and all the best features as well on Airliners Live, and uh, any help you can give will be greatly appreciated. Yeah, the Saxon Air from Island Man is on the down, uh, sorry, base leg of the approach. That's the Fenham 300. Oh, look at that nice smoky start on engine number two there on the 330. Nice. Keep an eye on engine number one. We may get a, a nice view of that. These camera angles are new? They are indeed. Uh, just yes. a couple of weeks ago, we started the uh, multi-cam here at Manchester. Yeah, it's something we've wanted to do for a while. We knew they had the capability to do it as well. Unfortunately, as I say, the networking has taken a turn for the worse recently just around Manchester Airport in general. So the cost of this may increase slightly, but it's something we really want to utilise a lot more and make the most of, especially through the summer as well. Yeah. And the best way to do that is by becoming one of our awesome VIPs. Or if you're already a VIP, why not gift someone a membership? You can do that on Android devices, on PC, laptops, just click the dollar symbol, then click gifted membership. It gives someone in the chat who isn't a member one month's free trial of VIP, guys. And um, what we found is a lot of people actually stay on once they've been gifted a membership as well because they've enjoyed it. So if you want to support the channel, you can also gift memberships as well. Thanks to all those who have supported us so far today already. We really appreciate it. Flight control check taking place there on the uh, Lingus. Full deflection on the uh, on the flight controls there. And Alex Smith, thank you, mate, for gifting an Airliners Live membership. Really do appreciate that. And Danilo, a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Welcome to business class. Thank you very much, mate. David saying, have you got any updates on the Jet 2 that had the abort and takeoff? on Thursday um, so David I believe that I'm not sure what happened to the aircraft I mean it looked like it was a technical issue with the, the aircraft in particular uh, I think the passengers disembarked uh, it was a flight to Malaga and they got put on a different aircraft which was a 757 uh, I'm not sure about the aircraft itself uh, but that just seems to be the outcome from that and Alex, thank you very much for the four months of business class saying, hoping to visit the RVP with my daughter in the next few weeks. Uh, she's three and not been spotting yet. Oh, yeah. Nice, dude. Hope you have a great day doing that. Hope it's something she uh, she gets into as well. Dakota's uh, three years old uh, in a month, and uh, she's here week in, week out at the RVP on Sundays. Yeah, she's so cute. Every every uh, every Sunday show, without fail, she turns up, knocks on the door, right, can I help, can I help? She comes in, like, putting everything away for us and that. Absolutely 10 out of 10. She's got a little camera now, Andy, hasn't she? She's got a camera, which we bought her for Christmas, and she loves, and she's obsessed with airplanes, not only seeing them, but flying on them as well. And uh, all yesterday, she was just telling me, I want I want to go on an airplane. I want to go on an airplane. So I said to Sam, you know, the best we could do when she comes to the RVP today, put her on, you know, one of the planes here, like the Avro or something. Yeah, so then yeah. she kind of gets the excitement of going on an airplane. Um, but it's her birthday at the end of April, and uh, we've booked a little flight away to, believe it or not, Malaga. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she's going to get to go on an airplane for that. Because we were like, do we book like one of them soft play centers or do we book like a kid's birthday place for all our friends or for not much more just go on a plate <laughs> go somewhere <laughs> easy jet being pushed back bravo x-ray on mat cam and um, we had a gifted membership come through from alex as well thank you very much for gifting an airliners live membership to joanne hartley yeah, enjoy that joanne welcome to the vip club and paul with the 499 hope you're doing well dude saying heading out to work the show is looking awesome though enjoy hope you're well mate 
Thank you very much for stopping in. Cheers, Paul. Cassie, hello to you. Good morning. And the Qatar Airways is just going over the moors now, about to enter, or it's just entering the final le uh, leg of the approach. So that uh, 777 should be in view soon. Quite a relatively high cloud base today. Um, so we can see quite far up the approach. Saxon Air Fenham is next to touchdown. Ah, OK, so it wasn't the one before then. My mistake. Yeah, the other one was a Fenham, though. But I'm, mm. not, I'm not sure what the who the operator of that was. A chance, is they? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> they confused me. I thought that was the Fenham. The, the one and then I will keep my eyes to the skies for the uh, not the king of the skies for the Qatar Airways BOE BOE 777 can I see Bigfoot yet should we have a zoom in and this this Saxon Air looking really nice I like the name Saxon Air. Me and Sam have been watching a lot of uh, The Last Kingdom on Netflix. Has anyone in the chat actually watched that? It's not a show I'd ever heard of until I seen it on the front page of Netflix. And uh, I don't watch much TV, but we are starting to really appreciate the kind of kids gone to bed, evening wind down, having some TV on while eating our, our scrub. And uh, The Last Kingdom, doing a good job of that. What's the current temperature there? Uh, about eight, eight or nine degrees Celsius. Something like that. Can you guys see the guitar? Uh, I can't quite see it yet. Maybe. Uh, AJ, saying, have you watched the Netflix documentary about the MH370 yet? I actually haven't. Um, I'm a bit reluctant to watch that, you know, because I, I, I've actually done a lot of research myself into the MH370 to the point where I don't think there's anything I don't know about that already. But, you know, maybe I'll watch it. I don't know. There we go. We can see the Qatar Airways there. Really nice scheme on that Saxon, wasn't it? Yeah, really nice. Have you thought of watching that, Martin, the uh, MH370 documentary on uh, uh, No, I don't know what you just said. I was kind of caught the tail end of it. I think I've kind of got the the similar opinion to you, to be honest, that what are they really going to tell us? Like, yeah, because they've like, not found it, have they? I, I feel like so, it'll be a lot of the stuff we already know, but yeah, done, in a, a just done in a Netflix style. Maybe, yeah. Might learn something new in there, but I'm, 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 someone who, I'm someone who did when that happened, and for years following it. I think the five-year anniversary was like two years ago, I think. Um, for the years after, I was uh, profusely looking at info about that. <laughs> Full of conspiracies. Well, that's it, James. I mean, at the end of the day, you don't. No one seems to know what actually happened to it. And I think I, I've heard that this Netflix documentary has done a good job of of opening up a few new conspiracies and things. Because um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of different ways that could have happened, right? Um, and not, when, when it comes to a tragic event like that, I think the main goal is to also learn about what happened to prevent such a thing happening again in the future, right? That is why knowing what happened to that plane is so important. And that's why, you know, contrary to some belief, why flying is literally the safest mode of transport these days because these events are so 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 catastrophic that you, you use them to learn to the the maximum to prevent anything like that happening again 
Can you guys zoom in? Uh, this is the max zoom we can do at the moment. Uh, we can zoom in more than this, but that plane is very far away. <laughs> Anyway. Brent Danilo, thank you very much for gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community. Thank you, dude. Oh, wow. Thank you for the five gifted. Really appreciate that. Sorry you caught me having a uh, little snack downstairs. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I will be quiet for the arrival of Bigfoot, the Qatar Airways 777. In the white scheme, coming in from Doha today. Mega arrival there. That's our triple. Leg reverse is still open. They should close any second now. Welcome in, Jeb. Welcome. Hope everyone's enjoying the show today. A little bit of sunshine creeping through the clouds now. Didn't think I'd see that. Just taking my sunnies off. Come on, the reverses. The aircraft definitely lower than 60 knots at this point. Hmm. <laughs> it's probably just an idle reverse, most probably. Yeah. There we go, vacating on the rapid exit taxiway. Qatar Airways, and there she goes. Reverse is being stowed. Thanks again, Danilo, for the five Airliners Live gifted memberships. Going to Michael Lowe, Uncle Pat, Paul Chapman, Deck Pop, and Sharon Daniels, all receiving one month's gifted Airliners Live membership from Danilo S. Thank you. Appreciate it. Very kind of you. What a shot. I love the head-on shots of the uh, triple sevens. And what do you prefer, guys, in the chat? Do you prefer the white scheme or the grey scheme of Qatar? I must admit, I'm, I really like the white. I do. Maybe it's because it's refreshing. I believe they've got two in the fleet in these uh, in this scheme, and we seem to see them quite a lot in Manchester. Oscar Echo and Oscar Foxtrot, the two aircraft, and I believe they're ex Virgin Australia aircraft, so kind of just kept them in that uh, white body. And I like the tail as well. I wouldn't complain too much if uh, they kept this as the standard. No, me neither, I don't think. I like it. But there is a bit of a lack of uh, guitar burgundy on there. Yeah, I say it a lot, but I think some nice wave of that purple going down the body would look mega. Yeah. Really, really good. And Graham, welcome back for 23 months of Airliners Live membership. Thank you very, very much. Wow. Uh, it's an awesome show as always, guys. Many thanks for all the hard work that you put in bringing us these first class shows. Thank you, Graham. Huge membership, crew seat member as well. Thank you, dude. Legend. Thank you, Graham. Going up on two years. I was going to say, one month ago till the gold tail badge. Oh, 
Chains in front of the white. They look really crisp and clean. It seems like most people prefer it to the grey. And then here at Manchester we get lots of grey, don't we? We do. <laughs> Mega shot on Matt Cap as well with that aircraft taxi in him. Love that. Nice. Bert S, good morning to you. Oh, Josh, yeah, that's a good point. The retro is really nice. I'm pretty sad we haven't seen the Qatar Retro for a long time here. I think they've only got the one plane though in that scheme. But that too is also a white fuselage with the Qatar burgundy stripes. Yeah, I love that. It's really nice. Maria Baker says, um, I love the 777. I flew on one with KLN to Thailand and got upgraded to business class. Oh. What an upgrade. Can you imagine that? You're just about to start like a a long flight and you're like oh gosh here we go like yeah. I hope I'm going to be comfy and that and they go oh would you like to just come through to business class oh for free God. you're like what yeah okay wow but for me I think I'd rather they did that on the way back because if they do it on the way out and then you know that you've got to come all the way back on the economy <laughs> you know you want to get the economy out of the way first yeah and uh, yeah have a go on the way back but if you are just tuning in, welcome to the Airliners Live Super Sunday show. A very happy Mother's Day to all of the mums tuning in as well. Hope you're all having a great day. And I uh, hope you're all enjoying the aviation as well. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Lined up on the active for departures, the Air Lingus A330. That's out to uh, Bridgetown. By 3,617 miles. Here we go. UK operating the 330s here in Manchester. <clears throat> they uh, posted their uh, finances for the first uh, year of uh, trading here at Manchester. And in the first year of trading, they made profit, <laughs> which is which is really, really good going, considering they just had the two and three aircraft here. Really good on them. And they've got plans to expand their network here at Manchester as well, they've formally said. I'd love to see more routes from them, especially yeah, on the uh, the 330. Uh, last summer, they had the two A330 300s here at Manchester. Uh, I think they did an Orlando and a Bridgetown service with that. And then with the uh, A321, they did the, the New York service, which they're still doing today. Who would you like to see, Matt, if you could pick any company and or aircraft combo to come to Manchester? Uh um, if I see Qantas come to Manchester, that'd be great. Yeah. Qantas hey. with the with a Dreamliner or something like that, that'd be nice. Yeah, not a bad choice. Yeah. Not a bad choice. Or uh, Air New Zealand as well. That'd be another really, oh, really nice yeah. addition. Air New Zealand would be brilliant. Yeah. The Air Black. New Zealand would be cracking. The, yeah. Next to touchdown on the active, the Pegasus A320 Neo. From Istanbul, certainly. I mean, I'd love to see the American carriers come back as well. Like they, they were definitely a yeah. a treat to see because obviously they were yeah. mostly wide bodies and and um, obviously direct links to the US and things. Yeah, I do miss the American aircraft. I must admit. Yeah, 
Oh, Vietnam looking. Air, Vietnam Air would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, Vietnam would be another one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Vietnam That's going purely one. off uh, liveries. Josh in the chat saying the Fiji A350, now that does look good. Oh, yeah. That is a nice yeah. livery. Yeah, we get, get that about Vancouver, don't we? Yeah. But as a passenger, I mean, yeah, I'd love to see Americans. Um, I mean, I've, I've, I've said it many times, I'd love to see JetBlue start up here as well. I think that would be a really nice addition. I think um, JetBlue also operate Boston flights as well. And there are rumours that the likes of JetBlue might be starting that from Manchester. But, uh, I mean, you plug it into the JetBlue network if you connect to uh, JFK anyway, so I think that would go down a treat. Especially on the A321 long range as well. Yeah, I mean, from a purely business point of view, it makes sense. But from a plane spotting point of view, I I don't want to see any more narrow body transatlantic <laughs> aircraft. Yeah, got, got some of them already. We got those. Let's let's have something cool, something loud. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Absolutely agree. And talking of narrow bodies, the Air Transat has just started its roll on uh, TT. Right here we go. Delta A three fifty says David. That would be a nice. Oh my gosh. That'd be naughty. Hey, Paul, no worries, mate. It was great to catch it. You give us a good laugh as well. Thanks for doing that, dude. That was mega. When the airline is live badging the window as he uh, went on holiday. Oh, yeah. How was your flight on the Sun Express, Max, by the way? Love that. Sonny say my New York flight is supposed to be an A330 on Air Lingus. Nice. Yo, enjoy. Get some uh, pictures in the lounge. And Grandad Seaside on YouTube saying, watching from a hospital bed in Blackpool, great stream quality on my iPhone uh, than my big television at home. I'm glad you're enjoying it, mate, and I hope you're uh, you're better soon, uh, Grandad Seaside in the chat. Yeah. Hope you're uh, back at home as soon as you can be, mate. Thanks for tuning in today as well. Matt Cam picking up a, uh, a mega shot of the Qatar currently on the taxi into the apron now. Qantas A350. I'd love to see the uh, the Etihad A350, you know, at mm. Manchester. That'd be good. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Just more A350s in general, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't go can't go wrong. Easy jet on the roll. Sounds, <clears throat> sounds naughty, this. Going at the beans. Nathan saying the uh, Pegasus said Fazer on the end. I'm sure we can amend that to Fazer. Yeah, I think we've caught that before. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Aer Lingus operating three different um, subsidiaries of Manchester, though. You've got Aer Lingus Ireland, Aer Lingus UK, Aer Lingus Regional, and I guess Aer Lingus Regional UK as well. <laughs> so four different um, legs of uh, Aer Lingus at Manchester. Addison Davies says, Qantas Direct from Perth to Manchester on their planned ultra-long-haul flights on the new A350s they've got. Mm. That would be cool, wouldn't it? That would be cool. That would be the longest flight in the world, I think? Maybe? Question mark? Something like that? Can't imagine it being cheap either. <laughs> Just such down in the old scheme, the Aer Lingus ATR. In the all green. Sounds very convenient though, doesn't it? A direct flight to uh, somewhere like Perth. It's a long way. Yeah, it is a very, very long flight, that. You can fly to Australia via a few different airlines. You can go with, like, Emirates or Singapore or Etihad or Qatar.
Oh, it come back to me about play when they're thinking of moving an A350. <laughs> How are play doing at Liverpool, by the way, Owen? Because I, I see so many adverts for them. Them and Norse, I see a lot of adverts online for. They must be spending a lot on uh, digital marketing. Because it's that temp tempting, you know, super cheap flight to New York on the offer. Philip saying he's on the uh, Perth London flight coming up. Um, where's it gone? That's just completely disappeared off my screen now. Has he deleted it? <laughs> Changed his mind. Yeah, I think they already do a, a route from Perth to London Heathrow. I think that, that is in the list of the longest flights in the world. Oh, there it is. Uh, he's heading out in on August. In August, sorry. Nice. Welcome in, Matt. Hope you're doing well. Great to see you, Mr. Healy. And welcome, Brian. What did you have uh, for your Mother's Day brunch, Brian? Has he been out for lunch, really? So he's been making it, apparently. Oh, right. Chef in the house. Off down to the next to land. Maria, same way here. What, here at the RVP? Brian, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Saying we are very surprised uh, with play as they we didn't think they would uh, do some uh, well, I guess do so well, he meant. Uh, but every flight is either full or more than half full. Uh, it's mainly people going to the USA or Canada. Interesting, Owen. So I think I've got a verdict from that. Pull from that, I guess people are not really fussed about how they get somewhere. I think people are just happy for to have a cheap ticket to get them to another country. Because if, I, if I'm right in thinking, play usually have quite wonky layovers, right, at uh, up in Reykjavik, and sometimes you can be waiting like 20 hours, 24 hours for your next flight, but you're saving a lot of money in doing that. So if you want to fly from uh, Liverpool to Reykjavik, uh, sorry, Liverpool to um, New York, then the ticket would be super cheap. And you'd actually get a ticket to New York on the plane, but you'd stop at Reykjavik and uh, have quite a long layover, right? Mm. Yeah, it's odd, isn't it? But for most people, I think that's just like, yo, I'm going to New York for for 150 quid or whatever it is. Yeah, I think price does come into it, especially when you're looking at transatlantic with the with the cost of those flights, we say some of the major carriers. 
like people like Singapore and if you uh, Virgin, you go down to London. Obviously, you got BA. Um, so, like you say, the low costers are kind of trying to get into that market by using the narrow bodies and um, just bringing the price down. Like you say, you may have the inconvenience of a stop here and a bit longer of a wait there. But like you say, if money is the issue and you really want to get there, then you'll just you just do that, wouldn't you? Yeah, and it, it just opens up the world to more more people traveling because when, when the bar to entry is lower it means more people have access to travel so it, it's a good thing and it introduces more competition to the other airlines as well and for us consumers it's a good thing yeah um, but you know if you are someone who you know, if especially if you're traveling with kids or whatever or you don't really like flying uh, or you don't like the stress of connecting at airports and things then you're probably going to pay extra for that direct flight so just to get there yeah, yeah. makes sense because certainly when you're going quite far like when I flew to uh, to Dallas with JetBlue and you had to connect it JFK and that's like you got an 8 hour flight and then a 4 hour flight and I don't know it was just it adds a lot you know it makes it, it makes it makes what would have been just a straightforward flight quite a long day and it adds a lot of like tiredness to it and you know I don't really get stressed but you know it would add a lot of stress to it um, well, I don't really get stressed of flying anymore because I've done it so much but I know a lot of people don't like being at airports and don't like you know the stress of catching the next flight and things and the security. connections yeah yeah but uh, Tina says uh, I'm looking forward to Mother's Day buffet at my daughter's and she says don't worry mum I've got airliners live on the TV <laughs> yes hey, that's dedication Tina. Uh, Tina isn't it yeah they know what's up as well mum it's Mother's Day you're coming for a buffet yeah I'm only coming if you've got airliners live on the telly <laughs> if not I'll see you after yeah <laughs> and then I'll rate your buffet after as well yeah <laughs> well, there you go. Send us some live pitches in, Tina. We'll rate the buffet live on the stream. Yeah. On a uh, video in the VIP lounge. We'll Does see it? what's in there. Any sausage rolls on the go? Just say, is it all like finger food? Is it all Bit buses? Of and <laughs> Chicken drumsticks. Yeah. <laughs> Tuna sarnies. Yeah. <laughs> all the classic. A couple of napkins on the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bread sticks and, and about 19 dips and no one eats any of it. <laughs> Bottles of pop and all that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Zach says, try and capture my brother-in-law. He's a big fan. He'll be waving at you through the left side window above the engine. Ryanair, the 11.55 a.m. flight. Is he coming in, Zach, or going out? Yep. And if he is coming in and he's on the left side, the best thing to tell him to do is to shine his torch through the window on his phone because that's really easy to see. When people are waving, it's quite difficult. So if you're in contact with him... Um, Ask him to shine his torch through the window. If he's departing, though, and he's on the left side, we're not going to see him, I'm afraid. If you're, a, if you're not a seasoned flyer, changing at airports can be daunting. I assume you mean, like, connecting, Carol? Connecting flights, yeah. Yeah, no, it can be. Especially yeah. on, like, short flights, because sometimes I watch um, Noel Phillips, mm. and sometimes he's only got, like, an hour and a half or two hours for a connection. Oh, and yeah. if your flight going in is late, mm. you just pegging it aren't you yeah, to, the, to the next one and then your baggage will usually get left behind oh man that is too much like that's why when I'm ever connecting and it's advice for anyone is make sure you've got like it's, it's just one ticket for the two flights so like if I was going from like uh, let's say Manchester to um, let's say Miami but I was flying with British Airways I would just book through British Airways because then if let's say the first flight was super late and you missed the second flight BA it's responsible for, for sorting that out uh, and they will get your baggage from A to B as well and they'll they'll do all that whereas if you went oh I'm going to fly to you know I'm going to get the shuttle service down or and I'm going to book the two flights separately myself then you're liable to the, the connecting flight being late and if, if you miss the second flight then you're the guy to have to fix that so that's why if I'm ever connecting let's say British Airways is a good example because that's like super popular here at Manchester uh, you'll just book it from I'll go on the British Airways website Manchester to Miami or something and then book it just through that yeah. rather than Manchester to London and then maybe I can go for a bit of spotting or maybe I can just you know might work out cheaper maybe yeah that's a good tip good tip there you go guys info coming in from Mr B the garage MC but it usually is cheaper anyway to just book on the same ticket anyway 
I've never missed a flight. Um, or actually, I have. Um, coming back from Dallas, actually. Um, but I, I was getting a, the uh, the JetBlue flight back to New York, JFK, to go back to Heathrow. And But the woman at the check-in desk was like, you know you're going to miss the flight because this is running late. So she just straight up said that. And I don't know if she was allowed to do this because it took her a bit of, like, talking and a bit of a few phone calls and thing. Because I kind of made a big deal about it. I was like, I've got to get home. I've got work. I've got, I've got commitments. I've got things to do. Like, I can't miss this. She's like, oh, you've got two choices. You can either stay here tonight in Dallas an extra night and just get the same flight tomorrow. To which I said, well, what if the same thing happens? Like, what if this flight's running late again tomorrow? I'll miss it again. She goes, oh, yeah, I understand that. Or you can spend tonight in New York and then get the, the next day flight back to London. I was like, again, I don't really want to be doing that. I'm going to be running a bit a day late. I haven't really got the money for this. And luckily, she managed to make a few phone calls. She seemed like quite high up in the chain over there, and she, she seemed to really get on with me as well. Like we were like chatting loads, and you know, like um, having a good time and all that. And she um, basically just booked me on an American Airlines triple direct back to to London Heathrow. So that was even better than the the connection. So it meant I got to fly on a triple seven back home direct that night, and she was like, "It leaves in two hours, <laughs> so you've got to go now." But um, that's yeah. the way to do it, though. There's no point like screaming and shouting at the people who are working on the desk because at the end of the day, there's nothing they can do about it. Oh, honestly, we were the best thing to do is just to work with them, see what they can do for you, and yeah, they're they're, they're not going to want to help you if you like screaming and shouting. Well, at them. That was probably it because the, the initial thing was you got these two options, and they're both not very good. But through just, like, talking and being friendly and, you know, like... I can't remember what we were talking about. I was talking about food in the UK and, you know... <laughs> of course you was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Things like that. Um, how much I love punk- pumpkin pie as well. Um, yeah, it's like, you got any other fights for me? Oh, no, sorry, I nothing. I know, but just let you know, I really do love your pumpkin pie. You know? <laughs> just, I, I rave about it back in the UK. I'm really trying to sell it that to all the people in the yeah, UK. Yeah. So, oh, well, in that case, I've got this cheeky yeah, yeah, trip yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember I went to chat and then, like, about 20 minutes of kind of, like, lingering around and kind of just seeing if she could... Because it was kind of like one of them where she was serving people and she was doing other things. She was, like, a manager there, so... Mm. So, and then she kind of kept popping back and being like, oh, I've not found anything yet. And eventually she did find that American Airlines triple flight. So, that was really nice. Um, We had a couple of questions in the chat saying, when can we expect mugs to come back into stock? It says Ghost Dog. Uh, Soon I'll get some ordered next week. Yeah, let's do Uh, it. We have ran out of those. Um, And also, when are beanies going to come back in stock? We're not restocking beanies now um, until the autumn, I don't think. Yeah. Um, So if you are looking to get hold of headwear, go over and grab our caps. We'll be keeping those stocked up and restocking those when they sell out as well. But yes, as far as uh, beanies go, guys, we're going to uh, give them a rest now until um, until it starts getting colder again. Because yep. uh, we, we ordered another 36 for the Airliners Live Fair and we sold all of those as well. So <laughs> yeah. um, I think people, every, most people have bought one now, I would say. Yep. And as we go back into, well, spring starts tomorrow, guys, so... As we go into spring, um, the caps are the are the new thing, I guess. So, yep. um, and they're fantastic. I mean, the caps they're really high quality. They last a long time. They're embroidered. There you go. Got mine on today. There it is. Looking. I want to say looking fresh, but the cap looks all right. There you go, guys. Also, in the brand new Boat hoodie, guys. Look at that brand new design launched at the uh, Task Fair, representing Concord alpha charlie the one that's over there in the hangar if you want to get yours they are live on the airliners live shop as well were you talking to her about finger buffets (laughs) (laughs) i can't remember what i was talking about it was a long day that (laughs) because it was an overnight flight so it had already been the full day i don't think i'd slept well the night before and, and yeah just traveling around a lot that day I think I drove up from uh, San Antonio to Dallas that morning or something like that. I can't remember. 
It took a four-hour drive. Yeah, Terry, I like that idea. Say, don't forget the Wookie T-shirt idea. That that could be memes, even on a mug or something silly like that, right? I think that'd be better on a mug. Yeah, some some kind of play on 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 uh, the Wookie engines, a nice pair of Wookies or something. I think uh, you guys would enjoy that. Oh, already this uh, Phenom that came in a few minutes ago. Yeah. It's definitely not on a play airlines layover. <laughs> we need a Wookiee t-shirt. I don't know if we can sell them. That's, know, that's a thing. That's another thing, yeah. I don't know if we'd be allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> Alison Rogers, thank you so much for gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community. Thank you so, so much, Alison. That really helps the channel a lot. Thank you. Cheers, Alison. Going to Lee Bracewell. Uh, Chavs, Dylan, uh, Zam H, Jenny Carver, all receiving Airliners Live gifted memberships. Vancouver mug saying here. That's not a terrible idea. Yeah. The Vancouver design, though, that we got, we, I really like the uh, the shirts and the hoodies. Like, I wear my hoodies and the shirts all the time. Yeah. But um, uh, we had the Vancouver leaf design, which didn't, didn't go down. That did not sell well at all. Yeah, so that's why I'm a bit hesitant to do it on a mug. Because with, with mugs and things like that, we have to order quite a big quantity uh, Roy you can purchase it through our website mate if you really want one and we can post it out to you what's this next coming in let's have a look I was just on Matt Cam bringing you uh, NYC being pushed back A330 nice shot there Matty Roy 757 ah, nice get 2757 turn your volume up for this guys because it's probably going to vacate the runway ahead of us and sound fantastic the brakes on the 75s are pretty darn strong Rod says, do you guys own an air fryer? I don't, Rod. People keep telling me I need one. Mm. And I'm not convinced, I'll be honest. But Wait. a lot of people say they, they got to. Yeah, I used to have one. They were good. There's only some foods that go well in it, though. There we go. This is going to get off right in front of us, guys. Have a listen to this. It's going to sound absolutely awesome. If you are enjoying the show, don't forget to smash that like button for us, folks, please. And if you're watching on Twitch, check those Twitch primes. Just great sound as well. Iceland Air 737 Max 8 now lining up as well. Heading back to Reykjavik. Yeah, with air fryers, like things like chips and stuff. Uh, used to cook really well in there, I remember. And things cook faster and stuff because it's obviously a much smaller space. 
Because you think of an oven, like, a lot of that space is quite wasteful because how big it is mm. when you're just cooking, like, some chips or whatever. Sparky Mark. Hi, folks. My first time on here. Welcome, dude. Thanks for tuning in today. Obviously, the, uh, the Opti Grill, though, gets used literally daily in my house. <laughs> Here goes the Iceland there, Max. The blue tail. Lovely smooth takeoff there from the Max 8. Love to see it. Susie B, morning, afternoon, whatever it is, I don't know. I'm going to blame that on the stream delay. <laughs> Another Ryanair touching down here at Manchester Airport. I can hear something quite nice on the taxi. Yeah, hey, you've seen anything, Matt. I can't see anything here. Might be the Virgin Atlantic 330, yeah. Virgin 330 on the taxi? Yes, I heard a Wookiee howl. Wow, yeah, it's... Uh, we're having a nightmare with your network today, Matty boy. Uh, Matt, could you see if you could, like, move the, the route around a little bit and see if you can get some... Yeah, of course. Just a little bit of just elevation. Elevation is the... Is, just get it as high as possible yeah obviously I know it's constrained by the cables but because I've tested our speed here at the RVP we're getting great <coughs> speeds so it must be uh, the connection there yeah yeah I wonder if you can like get it on the airport Wi-Fi as well <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the Iceland their new scheme is uh, definitely growing on me. Definitely growing on me. Very nice of that sun just coming through the window. Oh, yeah. And there's the 330 on Matt Cam on the taxi out. As you can see, still plenty of aircraft on the apron. Awesome shot there of the A330, which will be seen depart very soon. So don't go anywhere, guys. Still to come here on the Airliners Live Super Sunday Show. And on the active, the EasyJet on the taxi out. Sorry, on the takeoff. Some shot here of the uh, Jet 275 on the taxi in as well. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah, the sun lighting up the apron nicely as well. Oh, is it going to taxi in straight towards? I don't think so. Is it just going to park it on the right there? Um, not sure where it's come from. Um, but if it's come from Greece, then it's probably going to go to Terminal 1, but I don't think they're doing Greek flights. I think it's come from Geneva. Yeah, let me know, Dad. I've got mine, so I'm going to get home. Part there, mate. <laughs> and another 
Kofi donation coming in as well. Hey, thank you very much. Slinger with a five pound Kofi donation. Saying on me, guys. Great show as usual. Thank you very, very much. Really appreciate that. Very kind of you. Thank you for uh, taking your time to send us that uh, five pound super chat. Or should we say Kofi donation? A320 Neo rolling on the runway at the moment with uh, EasyJet. Yeah, Jen went to, uh, we went to just the garden centre. And there's um, a really nice one, if anyone's local. Right. Um, it's called Bradley Fold. Don't know if anyone's been, but it's got really nice butchers in there as well. Uh, big food, big pasty section, cakes, huge meat section, everything like that. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we grabbed some stuff from there yesterday. I got myself a, uh, a black pudding sausage roll. So it's, uh, like, sausage Ooh. with, like, flakes of black pudding for it. Oh, it was amazing. But um, I got a couple of um, pasties for me and my dad and Jen. And they must have ran out and took some more out of the freezer because they were all laid out really nice. They looked great. You couldn't tell that they were frozen. And she put them in the bag and she gave them to me. And I got home and we stopped at my dad's on the way home because it's uh, it's on the way past. And um, I said, oh, I got you a pasty salad for your lunch. You got it out. Rock hard. Mm. Completely frozen. Oh, so, wow. um, so, yeah, got debated. <laughs> Uptown girl, the A330-300 on the taxi out. My uh, farm shop reopens tomorrow. They've been closed for like two weeks for uh, refurbishment and upgrading a lot of their their bits and bobs. And then they reopen tomorrow. Nice. That's uh, Green Oaks Farm in uh, Mobley, which is uh, right next door to the airport, actually. Yeah. You can almost see the airport runway from uh, the farm there. And as the Virgin Atlantic taxis out, it looks like the 75 is now moving. Maybe something just blocking the way there that they had to get out. Causing a little bit of a traffic jam there on the taxiway. Interesting to see. Yeah, black pudding is really nice. I love it. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Climb on Twitch, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you do well. There's quite a lot of nays in the chat. <laughs> is that? Is that for black pudding, is it, by any chance? Guys are missing out. There is an airplane on final approach as well that we'll see touching down shortly. A lot of people mentioning the APU smoke as well. Mm. Thanks very much for tuning in today, folks. Hope you're enjoying Super Sunday show. Yeah, as always, back am adding a nice bit of extra to the show. Yeah. It's really unique. It really does add something to the shows, I think. It keeps everything interesting, keeps things moving. We can spy on what's going on on the apron. Oh, well, there was a question from last week's show as well, or the week before. Mm -hmm. I've just noticed as well. <laughs> the thing at the top left has disappeared. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the time was wrong, wasn't it? Oh, right, okay, yeah. On it, I think uh, it was broken, so I, I removed it. Okay. I don't think it's that that important, but I just noticed again. Yeah, I will have to um, sort that out. Seven three seven eight hundred series NG just touching down here, Manchester Airport two three right. Got the Virgin Atlantic eight three thirty on the way out. So that's going to sound awesome. Get your volumes turned up for that departure. Black pudding, scampi, chips, and mayo. What a strange that combo. That is a strange combo. Barry Bidwell. Is it Barry Bidwell? 
<laughs> Barry, you know you've got the best name in the whole of the Airliners Live community, by the way. <laughs> we uh, we love your name, but not your uh, but not your choice of <laughs> concoctions. <laughs> Oh, it's a special. I've not seen this before. Building bridges in business. Huh. And yes, a very happy Mother's Day to those who are tuning in today. Hope you're having a great day. Lower Silesia. Polish registered 737. BS subsidiary that Ryanair uh, Buzz. Another Ryanair down down the uh, taxiway there, ready to taxi. But uh, eyes to the aircraft behind, which is the version of Atlantic A330. We're well, switching over to Matt Cam with an awesome view of the Sun Express on the pushback. Matt, whatever you've done with that network seems to be helping nice quite a mega. lot um so whatever you've Made done up, we'll uh, we'll do that again okay um and if you need anything to make it easier let me know cable wise if you're limited by cable length or anything like that we can sort all that but uh, mega, mega shot mate. mega shot the sun express being pushed back on matt cam can we get some sound tens in the chat for matt cam today guys get a matt cam emote in there as well <laughs> Bringing us all the apron action on today's Super Sunday show. You're watching Airline is Live, the home of the multi location camp set up here at Manchester Airport. Bringing you all of the action on the Super Sunday show with myself, Martin, and Andy and Matt. Big shout out to all the mods as well, absolutely smashing it. Thank you very much, guys. It's uh, Chester Mike's uh, Bizjet, this, by the way. All oh, right. <laughs> this one that's arriving. I'm yeah. still on that cam at the moment. I will uh, switch across. He loves the reg. And Paul saying, Airline is Live is my second favourite aviation channel. Thank you very much, dude. It's great to have you with us today. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. It's appreciated. And here he is, Mike King arriving, the main man himself. <laughs> Anybody else have their own reg? Someone needs to get a, uh, a photo of this in the VIP lounge. He'd love that. Cheers, Chaz. Glad you're enjoying it, mate. John saying we're on Sun Express from uh, Gatwick later this year. Hope it's a max. Yeah, good luck, dude. Hope so. Terry said not seen Chester Mike for a while. Is he okay? Yeah, I think he had a few like family uh, uh, things happening yeah. basically, but uh, uh, yeah, he's still okay. He's still involved yeah, with the channel and things. Alex, shalom to you. Welcome, dude. Wishing everyone a super successful, productive, and healthy week. What a guy, Alex, the main man. Yes. Thank what? you for tuning in, mate. We've got a very busy week this week, actually. I'm actually really hyped for this week. I can't wait to get cracking. And that's one of the best things about doing Airliners Live full-time is just sitting here on a Sunday and just looking forward to going to work tomorrow. Yeah. It's great. Like, we've uh, we've got our first news show on the brand-new Simulate series to record this week. So VIPs will be showing you the process on that, myself and John. And Andy pushing out the new content for our flights and viewers. So we'll be recording our very first new show this week.
Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Hyped for that. Yeah, the uh, the brand new simu- like, series is on our YouTube channel. It's a playlist. So if you are interested in flight simulation, guys, make sure you're following along with those videos. We're going to be doing a monthly news show. Um, and we're also going to be doing product reviews and uh, hardware reviews as well, all things to do with flight simulation. Lots of things going on in the background of that as well at the moment, which we can't wait to talk to you about. A few potential sponsorships coming in for that already. So big thanks to those guys. You know who you are. who have reached out to us already, and I know we're still talking, so I won't say anything about it now, but um, appreciate your interest in getting involved as well. And um, like I say, we're going to be recording our first news show um, on uh, Monday, so I'm really hyped to uh, to get cracking with that. If you uh, want to have a look at the videos we've done already, we've um, obviously reviewed the Thrustmaster TCA Airbus um, flight controls, and um, we're also currently editing a review of the Thrustmaster Boeing Yoke, so that's going to be absolutely awesome. And uh, recently we reviewed the brand new Antonov that is available in Microsoft Flight Sim. So go over to the Airliners Live YouTube channel after today and check out the brand new Simulate series. Series, guys, we'd love to see you in the comments section. Awesome shot of Miss England, the Virgin Atlantic A330 being pushed back off the stand on Mac Hammers. Mr. Jake with an upside down plane as his profile picture <laughs> returns for 26 month business class, saying lurking through sleepy eyes, driving while late. Hey, great to have you with us, Jake. Thanks for tuning in, dude. Take care, Simon. Thank you very much for tuning in, mate. Hope you're well, mate. Yeah, another Virgin Atlantic A330 does pass. That's going to be awesome to see. And Airport Wings, hello. Great to see you in the chat. Yes, people saying that uh, the, is not too far away. Less than 15 minutes We'll be seeing the arrival of a TUI 767. Oh, go on then. We'll have a bit of that, eh, Matty boy? Nice 76. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Be uh, hopefully taxiing in towards you, pal, as well. Well, that's a mega shot at AF30. I love this. Absolutely love it. That is amazing. And this is the power of the multicam, guys. Seeing this aircraft being pushed back whilst landing on the main runway, we can switch back across to the EasyJet Neo, which has just touched down. It's landing in from Nice. It left just under two hours ago. And MC Train, thank you very much for using your Twitch Prime on the channel for a full year, dude. Thank you very much. Welcome back for one year of membership. Cheers, mate. And Adrian, welcome back for nine months of Airliners Live VIP. If you are enjoying the stream today, guys, you want to support the channel, become one of our awesome VIPs or gift some VIP memberships to the community. It would really help us out a lot. And uh, as we say, we are looking at bringing Matt Cam to more midweek shows soon. And we can only do that with your VIP support to help cover the cost of that. We'd really greatly appreciate it. If you are tuning in regularly, if you'd like to support the show by becoming one of our awesome VIPs, follow Nightbot links in the chat. Or if you're watching on an Android device, click the dollar symbol, then click join. That could be epic, that. Even if we only do them like once a month or something, like a yeah. a long midweek show with just dual camera could be just the best. Now we've got a Sun Express on the taxi out as the EasyJet taxis in. <laughs> Lee Davies, I'm new, how do I become a VIP? <laughs> <laughs> it's always Lee, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Alessandra says, I'm going to Cape Verde in October on a 2E767. Has anybody been? That will be awesome. Tap Air Portugal, Embryo on the way out to Lisbon. 
And Peter says the newcomer on the apron is super. Watching the pushback skills is great to see. It really is, mate. It's the side of the airport that um, you just don't get to see on the live shows, and we're really, really proud to be able to bring that to you. And as yeah. you can see here, the uh, Virgin Atlantic's been pushed back, and it kind of shows off the awesome work that the guys on the apron do. Um, usually goes unnoticed as well. And uh, it's great to be able to see, like I say, the uh, fantastic work they're doing, and as you say, the great skills involved in pushing back an aircraft like that as well. Make it look easy. And as we roll in towards the last hour of today's show, folks, don't forget to smash that like button for us if you haven't done so already. That would really help us out. We'll be aiming to wrap up on time today with it being Mother's Day. <laughs> and Lupe's saying, if, and if you behave, you can stay. <laughs> there you go. It's nice for people in the chat. Behave. <laughs> Nice, Barry. Saw a Spitfire over uh, Southampton. Oh, I love the sound of them. Yeah, they sound great, don't they? Yeah, we need to make a uh, revisit to Duxford because that was uh, the last, last time I visited. It was epic because we've seen about three of them flying mm. around. As well as the uh, the actual Imperial War Museum that they have there, which is like... 10 out of 10, you need an entire day to, to see it all. Oh, next to land actually is a Malta Air Max, Andy, from uh, Poland. Oh, nice. Don't land. see them very often on the streams. Switch over to that, shall we chat? Have a quick look. Flight info coming in from Radar Box. Links are in the chat if you want to get signed up. Use Airliners Live 20 in the checkout if you want a paid account to help support the channel. Love the scheme of the Malta Air Maxes. Yeah, the tail looks great. And I love the text as well, actually. Nice big Malta Air text. And it's Will, a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers for supporting the channel today. Cheers, it's Will. And English saying, can you have a big uh, hello to Isaac and Theo, please? Welcome, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. Isaac and Theo. And uh, just once, English in the chat is enough, please. CBT Des. Hi, guys. First time viewers from Perth, Western Australia. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Wow. Hope you're enjoying your uh, evening entertainment here live from uh, a very cloudy, pretty normal weather here on cold Manchester Airport. Yeah. Maybe in a few months we'll be able to remove the gloves, remove the layers maybe. Super excited for it to warm up here in the UK. And get back to uh, sorting the garden out as well. I took a, a wander into my garden yesterday, and I was like, "Wow, this is a disaster. <laughs> this is yeah. this is a this this needs a lot of work." <laughs> we got some house plants yesterday. Oh yeah, and uh, I managed to find a um, a pot that had a, a it's like a lion's head. This pot looks mega, so I got a little piece lily to put in it. Nice. Got that in my room, so little little office space. Yeah. There it is, a Virgin Atlantic A330 on the taxi out. And Mrs. Airliners Live went, oh, this is cool, isn't it? And showed me this lion. I said, oh, yeah, I really like that. I'll get that. And then for the rest of the day, she said she didn't like it. Oh. I said, you showed it me. You said it was cool. What do you mean you don't like it now? I went, well, I didn't think you'd, I didn't think you'd actually get it. <laughs> she said, oh, right, why are you showing me then? 
there you go. <laughs> Where's the Max going? Um, the Malta Air Max has just landed. Mr. Zero, welcome back for two months of Airliners Live membership. Say an afternoon all great stream as always. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Zero. Appreciate it. And Jeff, tuning in from Daytona Beach, Florida. Love your channel. Welcome in. Nice. Great to have you with us. Sure, it's a little bit warmer over there. I was going to say, I bet you got some lovely weather over there, yeah. haven't you? The Sunshine State. I did see someone in the chat earlier saying that they were tuning in from Miami. Very jealous. <laughs> and uh, Azerti123 on Twitch says, Air Malta was the first airline I ever travelled on on a 757. Magic. Oh, wow. It's awesome. We have about 300 viewers on the Twitch channel today, ladies and gents. And it looks like we've got about two viewers, judging by how slow the chat's going. Can we get some action in the chat, Twitch? This is the one time I give you permission to absolutely spam the Twitch chat. Let's get some hype. I want to see it like Summit 1G's chat in there now. Uh, so, um, and this Max is off to Antalya in uh, the south coast of Turkey. So cool that we saw this get pushed back off the gate and now departing on the show. Yeah. They always use that really convenient stand at Terminal 1 for our viewing. Heading back to Antalya, Turkey. Sun Express 737 Max 8. There we go. Love going We've got some people sabers in the chat as well. Legends. Love going to the airport pub in the summer. Oh, yeah. Brody, I need to make a, a revisit there. Antonov Burger Round 2. Uh, Barry, I don't know anything about gardening, mate. So if someone else in the chat can help Barry out, <laughs> yeah. let us know. We're not the guys. We are not, mate. I struggled. I had a tree in, 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 the, uh, in the office, a little one, and it died. <laughs> but it's a tree, mate. It's designed to just be out in the worst, and I managed to kill it. So rip. maybe don't ask me. There we go. That's a Twitch chat we like to see, guys. Yeah, I just need, I, I need to get the lawnmower out and hedge trimmer and all sorts. But that's... Oh, you do a haircut, are you? <laughs> need that too, yeah. Seven, six next in. Two birds, one stone. Yeah. Because the problem is, it's just been, like, non-stop muddy and wet, like, the last few weeks. Yeah, I must admit, it's been uh, pretty torrential. You work outside a lot, Matt, as well, don't you, at the minute? Yeah, do a little bit of work outside, mate, yeah. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been pretty bad recently. Try and time it so uh, I can work in the workshop on all the wet days and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Here it is, the 7.6 just touching down next to land. Great that we still get to see this come in and out from Turin. I once managed to kill a cactus. <laughs> it doesn't feel good that <laughs> you, yeah, you gave it less nurturing than the desert. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've managed to kill a cactus yet. Jen's um, mum and dad are, are good with looking after plants. So uh, hopefully they can fix the tree, bring it back to life somehow. It would be nice. But I'm not holding out much hope. You, you shook it and the, the leaves fell off. Ay, ay, ay. Suri 7 6 with a huge winglets. Just yeah. vacating 2 3 right. Great to see Tui still operating these uh, classic airliners, 767s, with uh, the two of them here at Manchester. Hey, you... Beastie, thanks for the £2 donation, mate. Say an excellent stream, as always, guys. Welcome in, dude. Hope you're doing well. And if you are into your flights in, ladies and gents, make sure you join our Discord. 
get involved. We may be doing some little group flights and stuff on there. Me and John have been doing some vla Vatsim flights. And you're more than welcome to join us along. You can search us on Volanta as well by searching for Airliners Live as the username and John Fezza. If you want to follow us along. And if you want to support the channel today, become one of our awesome VIPs. The links are in the chat. Mega wave from the flight deck. Mega wave from a mega plane. And then winglets. Massive. Beautiful shot. This will be heading around to Matt very shortly. We'll be yeah. bringing you more awesome footage of that as it arrives. I'm curious where that will pull up. I assume just to the right where the Dreamliners are. On uh, Terminal 2. Sometimes, too, we use the uh, the new pier at the back. I think that's more the, uh, the smaller planes that do that. Like the seven three sevens. Third wave of the day. Oh right. Didn't realise we had three. It's a good day for waves. Maybe we need to get the uh, airliners live bingo on the go soon. Pilot Wave could be one of the cards. One of the squares, rather. Virgin 330 on the roll now. on its way out to Bridgetown. Six and a half hour flight. Not too bad. On board a lovely aircraft, the A330-300 of Virgin Atlantic. And Matt's uh, picked up the 7-6 just going behind the terminal building. We'll see it come out in a second. Nice. There it is. Fortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to uh, come around to us. But oh. Yeah, I'll use the new pier then, won't it? Around the back. Taxiway's not blocked there, Matt, is it? Uh, no, but the two, the, the, sorry, uh, Jet 273 just on the uh, on the tug as well, so it may have gone that way. Sure. Okay, we'll keep an eye on it. Another Ryanair UK aircraft, UK hotel. Touchdown on 23 right. Welcome back, Alex. Hope you're all enjoying the Super Sunday show here with a multi camera setup here at Manchester Airport, broadcasting live in 4K to you guys. Every single Sunday and Wednesday, we're live here in Manchester from 10 a.m. UK time. Uh, Audrey, it may be that your membership has expired. You click the join button again and just uh, see what it says on there. Linny Walks on Twitch, great to see you. Thank you very much for tuning in. 
Well, we'll see Ryanair taxis in. We've got the shot there of the Jet 2 737 under tow. On the eighth. It's also a Jet 2737 on final approach as well, coming in from Grenoble. With uh, no winglet, it looks like. Mm. Maybe she's the one that had the uh, rejected takeoff the other day at Manchester. If anyone uh, remembers what the reg was. Always looks so strange, the 737s with no winglets. Alpine 2, good afternoon to you. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys on Twitch are enjoying the broadcast as well today, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yes. Plenty of viewers on Twitch today. A warm welcome, everyone. If anyone's new on Twitch, let us know. <laughs> Giving the captain a wave back there. No winglets, yay or nay, chat. Yay or nay. Let's get a nice close up look at that. Strange. And Peter, welcome. A brand new Airliners Live VIP. Thank you very much, Peter. Welcome in. Cheers for supporting the channel. And Max, good afternoon to you. Thank you for tuning in as well. Yeah, most do have winglets these days. You can, I believe, retrofit them. Yeah, I don't mind no winglets on a 73. Yeah, Just not on a 75. It was strange on the uh, that 737-500 that we've seen on the Wednesday mm. show. That was also included in the little uh, montage that I uploaded on a, on a Thursday. Oh, Matt Cam catching the Kuwait A330 on the pushback, guys. Another awesome heavy departure coming up out of Manchester shortly. As we're into the last hour of today's show. Bringing you all the action from Manchester Airport. You're locked into Airliners Live. Hope you're all enjoying the feed today. And thanks again, Peter, for becoming one of our brand new Airliners Live VIPs, helping to support the channel. Thank you very much. Welcome. And if you are a new VIP, make sure you get yourself signed up in the VIP lounge over on Facebook which is an exclusive club of paying members of Airliners Live. Regardless of what platform you're on, you can get involved over there. That's if you have a Facebook account. Search Airliners Live VIP Lounge and just answer the uh, questions accordingly when you sign up. And there's also a chat that we're all in as well. You can join the chat and talk amongst the VIPs when the stream's offline, as well as the hosts and mods and things are in there. And our Discord server also has uh, functionality with their VIPs. I believe you need to link your YouTube or Twitch to your Discord account to do that. Yep, and you'll get automatically added into the uh, VIP section on the Discord, which gets you access to some uh, behind-the-scenes stuff as well. FLM on Twitch, welcome in. Tuning in from the Swiss Alps. Oh, nice. Very warm welcome to you. Saudi are just over Cambridge, says Simon. Thanks for the update, mate. Yeah, so winglets do help um, with fuel uh, fuel economy. And um, the way they do that, um, I was watching a video on this the other day. It's quite interesting. We could probably link it in the... Uh, the VIP lounge, but um, towards the end of the wing, 
uh, where the disruptive air is building up. Um, without the winglets, uh, the air actually pushes down on the top of the wing, and that means that um, you need to pitch up more to keep... Um, and obviously, when you pitch up more, you need a higher uh, engine speed to uh, to keep the aircraft at the speed they want. So uh, by adding those on the end of the winglets, it basically reduces that. And it saves about 1%, 1% roughly. But when you take into account 1% over the amount of flights, say, someone like Ryanair would do, um, it really does, really does build up. And it's uh, a great, great saving. But um, there is like an in-depth video, which I'll try and dig back out and link in the VIP lounge for you guys. It's quite interesting. It is mad how adding that extra weight as well as the aerodynamic profile to the aircraft would actually make it more fuel efficient. <laughs> yeah, it's mentally. It's all aerodynamics, isn't it? If you can stop forces pushing down on the top of the wing yeah. or reduce it, um, it yeah, it just, uh, it just helps. And like you say, you, you're looking at if you've just got the one plane, then maybe you wouldn't bother. But if you're running hundreds of planes, then a 1% on every flight yeah. is a big saving. It really is. Just like Ryanair with the retrofitting uh, split scimitar winglets on their 737-800s like this one. Yeah. Uh, Tina, I'm not sure if it's working because you've not got the tower badge next to your name. Uh, you may need to sign out and sign back in again. Uh, but for me, it's not showing that your membership's come through, I'm afraid. Strange. Yeah, so as you can see on that Ryanair there, that would be the winglet, the big bit on the end of the wing. Uh, on the Airbus, it's wingtip fences um, or sharklets, depending on... Uh, so the sharklets on the Airbus look very much like the, um, the Ryanair and this KLM here. Um, but the standard shape, like the triangle shape you see on the end of the wing on the Airbus, are just wingtip fences. Yep. They also have the classic winglets on the likes of the A340s and A330s as well. And they're quite fenced on the A380 as well. A lot of uh, modern airliners, though, don't have uh, winglets. Things like, uh, well, 777, 777X, Dreamliner, 747-8, uh, the A330neo kind of as well. This, like, new wave of it, and also the Dreamliner, I don't know if I mentioned that. This new wave of, like, super efficient wing design tends to not have winglets. Or very strange winglet shapes. And you even have, like, the the A350 with the kind of really curved, really beautiful winglets that are very unique to that particular aircraft. Yep, as Roy says, Dutch pride. We've been very consistent here at Manchester Airport for a long time, KLM. The beautiful airline as well. Sadly, I'm yet to see the uh, Dutch pride special scheme that they have on the 
the likes of the triple seven. Something I'd love to see at, at um, somewhere like Amsterdam. used to fly 747s. Um, they still do, but only for uh, freight KLM cargo. Sadly not for passengers anymore, just like most airlines these days. I think the only airline in Europe that you can fly a 7-4 on is, is uh, Lufthansa these days. Can an aircraft fly with one winglet? Um, it can. Um, it's not like a safety issue, but um, usually the airline will just, just recover it back to base to get that fixed. Um, but yeah, if one was, say, damaged in flight, for example, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't uh, be catastrophic, no. There we go, awesome shot of the Kuwait retro on the taxi out. Still one of the best looking liveries that Matty in that, that A330. Absolutely, Rick. 10 out of 10, that library, Rick. Any library it. for me, any, library, any, any retro library for me will do. How are we looking on the apron, mate? Then we've got the Kuwait on the taxi out. Much else interesting on the move, do you see? Like anything being loaded up? Uh, just seeing the guitar getting loaded up, but obviously that won't be till later on this afternoon. Um, got this Jet 2 on the end stand here now, obviously, but that's obviously going to get turned around, so yeah. a little bit happening here and there. Got a little bit quiet as far as the um, actual aircraft at the gate, but that gives you plenty of room for aircraft to come in and arrive and arrive at the gate as well, doesn't it? So. Yeah, hopefully we'll see some coming and taxiing in right in front of us. Although next to land we got an easy jet by the looks of it. And Saturn Sky saying the 777X has the foldable winglets. Uh, they're on a hinge so it can fit into smaller gates. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I'm super excited to see that um, when that finally takes to the sky for commercial operations. And hopefully we might get some here in Manchester. Who knows? But I believe they're still quite a few years away from uh, commercial operations. I know they've the found a few snag issues with them planes. They'll also be uh, rocking the uh, the biggest, what will be, the newest, biggest uh, jet engines uh, in the skies. Take care, Paul. Thank you very much for tuning in, mate. Well, that's going to be something else, watching the, uh, the wingtips fold. I'd assume that'd happen at some point during the taxi, maybe even like when the aircraft's uh, prepping for the takeoff. That'd be something else. It's easy jet in from Alicante. Three hour flight. Got a sign in the window there. One zero two. <laughs> Well, thank you very much to our brand new Airliners Live VIP sign up. Really appreciate that. Please let us know how to uh, pronounce your name correctly in the chat. Oh, you're not going to have a go yourself. I mean, give me a clue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lee pronounced that name. <laughs> Q8 Airways on the main cam. A330-300. Sorry, 200 series heading back to Q8 City. They've pretty much binned off the idea of the uh, A320 Neo running that service. I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm really glad that yeah. we've seen another A330 at Manchester. It's great that it's uh, 
working out for them as well that they can upgrade to the A330. Yep. And uh, apparently they're going to be also running the 330 Neo, although I've not seen that very much. It's pretty much the only airline who operates 330 Neos here at Manchester on a regular service, but very rare we see that. It does look great, though. Yeah. Ah. How can you tell Boeing, Airbus, and Embraer apart? Um, Boeing tend to have pointier noses than Airbus is one to look out for. Um, but in terms of sort of telling apart different variants, you're best to watch the stream whilst having something like, say, flight radar open. Um, like something like um, radar box or something like that. And um, you just get used to seeing them. It's, it's not something that's really too obvious without watching a lot of it. But as we say, the Boeing, as you can see, has got quite a pointy nose, uh, whereas the Airbus is a bit more rounded. Yeah, and then the Embraer is usually uh, the smaller uh, kind of uh, airliners. Yeah. Yeah, like, like Martin said, it's quite hard to just put a general rule to that. It's already at 10 minutes out. Roger, Dodger. Yeah, Tina, it's not showing that you're a VIP here either, I'm afraid. So I'm not sure what's happening on that one. It's strange, yeah, because I've always seen Tina in the chat with the the tower badge. Yeah, if you uh, if you have paid for your membership, Tina, just reach out to YouTube. I would say on that one, just drop them a quick message in the support chat. Should be able to help you. We don't have any controls to help you with that, I'm afraid. Chipaz, that's a good uh, a good uh, rule as well. Um, it's sometimes hard to see though, but the strobe lights on the wings, for example, let you see blinking when the aircraft's uh, in the air and on the runway and things. Um, if it just blinks once, that's Airbus, and if it blinks twice, like a double blink, that's Boeing. Okay, did not know that. You didn't? <laughs> no, you and I didn't know that. There you go. Hey, and Jay, there you go. That's, uh, that's a nice, easy one there, Jay. <laughs> so, uh, my name is Jay. I have a few videos of the 777 as I'm based in Boeing Everett. Uh, she is a sight to see. Huge. That's amazing, mate. I'll make sure to check out your uh, your channel, Jay. Um, feel free to put a link to it in the, uh, in the chat so we can check that out. Cheers, Jay. Really kind and Thanks of you. for becoming a VIP and also donating to the channel as well. No, I just need to remember that your name's Jay, and every time I see that, call you Jay from now on. They're uh, vacating the Turkish A321 Neo, loaded with Pratt and Whitney's on board. Unfortunately, a video that I watched looked like um, they may be considering the leap engines for the A220. Oh. oh, no. No! We don't want any of that. So they may be moving away at some point from Pratt and Whitney, mainly due to reliability issues from what I've seen. I've heard about this, yeah. Few instances of uh, shutdowns in flight and things, which they mainly attribute to software, but it's uh, it'd be a massive shame to see Pratt & Whitney's replaced on the A220s.
Yeah. There. Oh, did I say it the other way around? Yeah, Airbus. Oh, hang on. Catch this first. Q8 Retro. Departing. What a sound. But um, one of the other reasons they were looking at doing it as well is um, to introduce two engine options for the aircraft. Yeah. Um, just to create some competition and bring the price of the, uh, the aircraft down. Because um, I didn't know this until I watched the video, but apparently... Um, so when, when, the, uh, when there's multiple... So obviously airlines are buying an aircraft, right? They, they're choosing the aircraft, but then they're choosing the engine. They're purchasing the engine in like a separate thing. Oh. So obviously you've got the price of the aircraft, but then you buy the engine separate. So if you've got two... So the engine companies, if you've just got one option, can just charge what they want. Yeah. But obviously if they're now offering two options, then it creates a competition and, uh, yeah. and uh, can potentially bring the price down quite a bit. But... Like I say, for me, losing those Pratt and Whitney's on the A220 would be massive for me. Yeah, that'd be a massive shame because as much as I love like the Max engines and stuff, they just so, just not it. So, do they have Leap as an option at the moment, or is no, that something they're working? No, something that they're thinking about. Ah, they're thinking about. Yeah, it's the same range of, air, of of engine size. Yeah, it's because they've already been testing and everything. It'd be quite easy to bring them to the platform and. Um, yeah, it'd just be, just be too quiet for me. Yeah. Oi, you're flying or what? And I'm Johnny boy. The John Feather in the chat. Yeah, Saturn, yeah, the Kobe Explains video. Thank you, dude. I forgot where I watched that. So, yeah, check out the video by Kobe Explains. Um, really interesting. Gives you loads of info on that. A great YouTube channel as well. Lots of uh, aircraft info on that channel. I think I've seen... A bit of that video. That's only a few days old, isn't it? Yeah, very new. Yeah, it came up in my feed yesterday. Yeah. I'm terrible with remembering names, so I know I've watched something, <laughs> but I, I always forget where I've watched it. Yeah. The, Thanks for popping that in, uh, Saturn Sky. Make sure you check out Kobe Explains' YouTube channel for all the info on that. The A220 Neo. What a bizarre thing that would be. I think it was Kobe Explains where I, I watched the um, the wingtip fence video as well, the... Um, Shark that video. Nice. I'll leave you on the main cam for a second chat. Stand by. Yeah, there's a cute little biz jet in it. Love the tail. That kind of grey, like matte grey. Really nice. Yeah, it'll probably be the Leap engines if they're going to use anything. I didn't know, like, just from the surface, like, the extent of the unreliability of the Pratt & Whitney's. Certainly that howl, although we love it, I don't think it's very healthy for the engines just because of a, from a purely um, you know, acoustic point of view of the acoustic integrity of the, the resonance of the uh, Talon X uh, combustors that make the howl probably really rattle the engine and probably accelerate the um, degradation of the engine over a long period of time just down to the uh, the vibrations of it well, I'm not sure if that's the, the root of the issues with them engines they're also very quiet when they get up in the air though they have a, a lower no noise profile than the uh, leap engines when they're flying anyway certainly not when they're spooling up <laughs> or initiating the reverse thrust if anyone's ever heard that especially on the uh, Embraer E2 jets that can be really loud Yeah, that's nice. It's coming over the gap. 
Very picturesque there, the Aer Lingus A320 in the new Aer Lingus scheme. this but the Saudi uh, Dreamliner next to the touchdown I think guys and girls in the chat in true airliners live fashion we shall rate this landing out of 10 because Saudi uh, usually produce some really good results with their touchdowns here at Manchester so let's give this a rating out of 10 shall we Bad. Not too bad. Not the best, though. Not the best. We've definitely seen better. But not terrible. Got a 5 out of 10 on Switch. 8, 7. Yeah, I'd say 6, 7, I'd say, maybe. Jay, thank you so much for the $20 super chat coming into the channel saying, just search for Jay Plane Spotter and you'll find me. It will do, mate. Thank you very, very much for supporting the channel today with your donation. And Daryl, thank you very much for also sending in a £5 donation to the channel. Thank you very much, Daryl. Saying so enjoying the show as usual. Keep up the good work. Thank you, dude. Thanks for helping cover the cost today. Cheers, Daryl. And, and Jay as well. Thank you so much. Very kind. And James B., welcome in. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Now rolling on the runway is the Aer Lingus UK. <clears throat> JFK service with the A321 Neo Long Range. Aer Lingus Flight or Green Flight 45. She goes off to JFK. In New York. Matt catching a mega shot of the uh, Aer Lingus on the taxi out as we switch back to the Saudi Dreamliner taxi and right past us here at the runway visitor park. Links are in the description and make sure you come down, guys, and uh, come and enjoy all of this aviation action here at the Runway Visits Park at Manchester Airport. And Jeff, thank you so much for the $10 Super Chat. Saying, great show, guys. Thank you, guys. Thanks for sending in donations. Really appreciate that. It does help the channel a lot. Helps to cover our costs of the multicam. And uh, just a general running truck cost of the channel as well. <laughs> nice wave from the flight deck as well. In Saudi Dreamliner. And a mega shot on Matt Cam with that aircraft as it's uh, looking from his perspective. Love to see that. Why do Aer Lingus operate Mans JFK? Um, Aer Lingus have set up a subsidiary here at Manchester. It's called Aer Lingus UK. And uh, yeah, they're filling in the gap. Um, of places like uh, Manchester to JFK. 
doing a great job of it. And um, as I said earlier in the stream, they have uh, they're actually in profit that particular subsidiary and uh, doing really good. And I've heard really good reviews as well from people who have flown uh, on board Aer Lingus UK. And it's more long call operations here in Manchester as well, so more competition. But as that EasyJet taxis in, we'll uh, cut across to Radar Box where you can see the airport is still really nice and busy, guys. Absolutely loads going on. We're doing our best to bring you all the best angles of all these aircraft that are on the roof. And uh, we got an EasyJet. Um, or oh, is it the Pegasus, sorry, that's out now? Yeah, we got a Pegasus uh, just rolling next to Depart. And that's out to uh, Istanbul. If you'd like to keep up to date with all the movements here at the airport, check out Radar Box. Links are in the description and the chat. Pegasus operating the A320neo today. Good to see. Plenty of Turkish operators here in Manchester as well. Sun Express, Pegasus, Corindon, Turkish Airlines, to name a few. And then we'll occasionally see like a Freebird here as well. And uh, going into the summer, we might even see Southwind, which is another Turkish operator, brand new to Manchester Airport. So how are we looking on the A380, Mr. B, as it approaches its scheduled departure time? Yes, just one minute away from the scheduled departure slot. Let's have a zoom in, shall we? Not looking too bad, actually. Looking really good. Probably the best I've seen at this time. All the cargo doors seem to be closed. The upper jet bridge is disconnected. Just the lower one now. We have got a unit connected in front of the aircraft as well. So, yeah, uh, I wouldn't say that's going to be too long. Nope. Assuming uh, it seems to go to plan from here. Only people service, I like. or Virgin operates? I mean, Virgin already operate the, the um, a JFK service of their own, but obviously it's different price points and different, um, you know, marketing strategies and whatnot. And I think Virgin, for example, can't really expand much here at Manchester because they're bottlenecked by. Uh, capacity of their own and I believe a lot of that is down to the amount of pilots they, they don't have here in Manchester but obviously if you wanted to fly to JFK you could also fly with British Airways via um, London Heathrow, that's a possibility And Rachel, welcome back for 11 months of Airliners Live membership. So I'm so pleased I found this channel and community. You've all been great company. Thank you very much, Rachel. Just one month away from the full 12 months, one year of support. Hey, time has flown, hasn't it? Cheers for supporting the channel. Time has absolutely flown by. Matt Cam picking up the Saudi, attacks in, in there it is, the Dreamliner on the way back to the stand. Iconic livery, looking great on the apron cam there. Yeah, Chip has saying the airling has probably expanded at Manchester. I think they will, I mean, I, I don't know if they officially are, but I believe they are going to be returning the Orlando service as well. Hopefully with another A330 and get back to three aircraft at Manchester. But I'm not sure where else they'll go. And Brody, cheers for gifting five memberships to the community. Wow. Thank you, Brody. That's absolutely massive. Cheers, dude. That's gone to uh, Eric Bromley, Lauren Taylor, Mark Allenby. Alan Robinson and Graham Nutt all receiving free Airliners Live membership for one month. Gifted by Brody in the chat. Thank you, guys. Really helps the channel a lot. Really appreciate that. Yeah, make sure you say thank you and cheers, Brody. Thank you for supporting this uh, amazing community and uh, 
helping us out on the channel as well. Cover the costs of all these live shows. Just look down on 23 right in from Malaga is the uh, 2737 800. Two hours 45 on this one. I haven't flown, I've only ever flown with 2E once, and it was on a 737-800. And I remember the, uh, the seats were super comfy compared to, like, jetting. Oh, right. Yeah. Super nice experience on that. World of Tui. Hey. And a wave as well. <laughs> wave of Tui. And uh, just to complete the set, here's the, uh, one of the later editions of the Tui winglet styles of the split scimitars. Very similar to a standard 737-800 winglet, but with an extra bit at the bottom. <laughs> He's JA319 heading back to Geneva. As we uh, have a look on MatCam for the Saudi Dreamliner, which is currently uh, taxiing back in. I do love the Tui livery. And it looks really nice on the Dreamliner and the 76, but I think my favourite of the Tui was, was um, when they had the 757s. Yeah. And they had loads of them here in Manchester. And they only retired them, oh, was it last year, I think? If not the year before. And Sasha, thank you very much for the £10 super chat, saying hi, just another super chat for a fantastic channel. Thank you very, very much, Sasha, for your long-term support of the channel. Really do appreciate it. Thank you, Sasha, very kind. And uh, Amiman Travels, um, some of the newer aircraft have um, cameras around the aircraft, but um, no, most of the time the, they're just doing it by eye, so um, the lines extend far in front of the aircraft anyway, so you just, you're just following the line, basically. It's something you just get used to. Yep. Matt's camera might need a bit of a... I was going to say, just check a bit of a level on there. The Saudi was climbing a bit of a mountain there, Matty Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> and Eka's saying that the she went on a 2 e Dreamliner to Alicante. What? Wow. That's a nice short little flight on a Dreamliner. Was that an upgrade, was it, or did you just manage to bag that from the get-go? Weren't they running that on a Malaga thing during the summer quite a bit, actually? The Dreamliner. Oh, what a, what a few times. Oh, I, 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 I'd love that. Jeez. I still get to fly on the Dreamliner, so that would be a perfect way to do it. I know if you really want to fly on a Dreamliner cheap, you can do Gatwick to uh, Oslo, I think it is, with Norse. And that's pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. Even, uh, yeah, about 30, 40, maybe even 50 quid, I think you can do that for. Something like that. Plenty of waves today. Yeah, I still remember when we seen that last ever 2E757 depart Manchester and it was completely uh, caught us off guard. Christina, hello to you. Good afternoon. Welcome. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Here on uh, this Mother's Day special. Shout out to all the mums out there. Doing a fantastic job. 
And uh, Ronald, a very warm welcome to you. Tuning in from Oregon says, what does TUI stand for? Um, I've done a cheeky Google. <laughs> okay. So I have the answer. But do you know off the top of your head, Andy? I didn't. No, it's, it's a German um, thing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Anyone in the chat know without Googling before we say what it stands for? I just know it's something German, but I can't remember what. <laughs> Well, it stands for Touristic Union International. Huh. There you go. There you go. The yeah. More you know, eh? I remember that last 2757 departure, yeah. Flair Mercy, it was like a 4,000 feet per minute rocket climb. It was. We almost didn't see it. It went up so quick. saying it wasn't an upgrade we just got very lucky uh, we did have a six hour delay going out but the plane made up for it wow okay it's a big delay but yeah it sounds like a lovely flight down to the south of Spain in a dreamliner certainly something I'd love to uh, look at getting uh, my hands on mm. A Ryanair flight heading out to Santander. Oh, no way, Saturn Sky saying his dad is a pilot for TUI on the 787s. He used to fly the 75s and the 76s before he switched. Wow, Battle. that's awesome. Just shows how many great planes they've got in the fleet over at TUI. Oh, we catch him in and out of Manchester at some point. Yeah. And watch out, Buster's detected. Hayden's in the chat with a £2 super chat. Saying good afternoon, guys. Welcome, mate. Hope you're doing well. Easy jet next to land on two, three rights. Ian saying, is Sunday especially busy at Manchester or is it like any other day? So Sunday is one of the busier days, but I mean, you can come here any day and it'll be relatively busy these days. I think some midweek days are a bit quieter, like Tuesdays, Thursdays seem to be a little bit quiet sometimes, but it's not, not by a big, by a, a big difference, you know. It's the thankful EasyJet, Tango Yankee. Good afternoon, Roger. Thanks for tuning in today. And what's Matt Cam got here then? Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's he spotted? We'll uh, switch over to it in a second when this EasyJet taxi's passed. Can you give us a clue, Matt? It's a seven five. Oh well, that's a pretty big clue. He's, <laughs> he's giving away in one, in one, he's giving one clue. And he's, he said what it was. Oh well, well that's the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a two seven five. We don't know. Come, you wouldn't be a good sight, <laughs> would you? <laughs> Oh, I wonder what's in my present. Oh, it's socks. It's socks. <laughs> yeah, they only the best. There it is. Oh, no, Matt Cam's froze just as I've switched to it. Oh, we're having a lot of issues with uh, the Matt Cam connection today. EE, -E, stop saying you're the best in the world when you're not at the moment. Come to Manchester and fix this mass that's been broken for the last year and a half. There we go. Seven five seven being pushed back, mega shot. Seven fives in particular look spectacular up here. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice, nice view, isn't it? 
Hey, and Ronald becoming an airliner's live VIP. Thank you very much, Ronald. Welcome to the community, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Brand new VIP signing up. Cheers, dude. We have an easy jet coming in from Lisbon. It's a Neo as well. On a final approach. And after the easy jet Neo is out of the way, we'll have uh, another A380 update and see where the king of the skies is in regards to its uh, turnaround process. Yes. Thanks to everyone signing up to be VIPs, guys. It is what we uh, kind of base the channel on, sort of how many VIPs we have, and it kind of allows us to work out what we can invest in and what we can improve. So if you do enjoy the Airliners Live shows, the best way to support us is either by becoming a VIP yourself or by gifting a VIP membership to the community. A very warm welcome, Ronald, our latest brand new VIP to the channel. Easy Jack. Next to landing from Lisbon. AC20 Neo. Lima Bravo on the reg. A really flemo. The new A380 delivery went to Australia. Well, quite the opposite direction, then, eh? <clears throat> I'm sure we'll see it at some point soon. Yep. Would be nice to catch. I'd love some sun at some point soon. I really need to get out and get some pictures. Yeah. Uh, you got some decent shots the other day, Matt, right? Yeah, I went to um, I went to the main mound on south side on Friday. The sunshine was brilliant, made really nice light and stuff up. Nice. Didn't go for anything in particular, just thought sun's out, sun's out, my job. Why not? <laughs> Hey, Mehmet. Great to see you on Twitch, dude. Hope you're doing well. Huge sharflets on the end of that. on their support box because they, they are really helpful at YouTube so if you've seen the payment go out of your account um, just reach out to them on YouTube and they'll get that sorted for you A380 update we've got a uh, magpie checking out the king of the skies and we're mean? pushing yeah, push back just starting. Wow, Here good we go, timing. folks. A380 is pushing back. What good timing that was. Shall we our final departure for today's show? Because I think we're going to get this 757 out before the, uh, the King, which Matt has on his camp. Magpie bringing a bit of luck. I didn't think one was good luck. I thought there has to be... What's what's the what's the rule they say? That's nice. like a little rhyme for it, isn't it? Anyone in the chat know the rule? Must be another one I didn't see. That's it. There you go. So there must be another one somewhere. And the flying architect returning for twenty-four months, Whoa. two years of airliners live membership, jump seat member. I've just got my gold tail badge. Joining late as I've been out flying a trip to Edinburgh and back home. Hey. Got clearance to go to flight level 85 there and back. Um, oh, you've had a good show. Yeah, it's been mega, mate. It sounds like you had an awesome flight as well. Yeah. Thanks for the two years of support, mate, and for also all the mod work as well. Cheers, dude. Welcome to the gold tail club. 
There's not a lot of gold tails in the chat these days. There is not. We got any Wookiees in the chat? Any Wookiee badge members in the chat? There's only one, isn't there, I know. And uh, I don't think he's in at the moment. I know Lee Davies isn't far off. Lee Davies says 12 days until I'm in the Wookiee Club wow yo that's not far watch out Mega shot of the uh, Jet 273 in the dot com scheme. You have to salute the magpie. Quick! As that Jet comes in, Matt's got the uh, 75 on the remote cam. Keeping an eye on that. I saw him do a flight control check a second ago. He's just begun his taxi by the looks of it. Nice. It's the last two aircraft to depart us today, that Jet 275 and the Emirates King of the Skies to wrap up your Super Sunday show as uh, Jayco becomes a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Thank you very much, dude. Cheers for supporting the channel. Welcome. Welcome to Premium Economy. So some VIPs in the chat for our new members, guys. And a mega shot of Matt Cam there following that 7-5 out for us. Been a decent show today, Matt. Loads of movements. Yeah, quite in, they're quite off a little bit, but still great fun up here, mate. Lots to see, lots of action. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's a, a big hit, the Matt Cam. I am looking forward to uh, giving the zero five 5 stuff a try as well in the summer. That's going to be That's going to be really good fun. Mate, I'm overly hyped for that. I'm just too yeah. hyped. Honestly. I didn't know the, the rhyme went on that long. Saying so eight's a wish and nine's a kiss and ten's a bird. <laughs> you must not miss. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say I've ever seen eight magpies together. Can you get up to eight or ten before they've flown away? Well, that's it. Yeah. How fast can you count? <laughs> 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 Emirates A380 just uh, starting its engines at the moment. So as I said before, it looks like we will get the uh, 75 out first. It's just come around the corner. There we go in the chat. What's that? A Wookiee. Have we got a Wookiee in the chat? Yes. There he is. There's Lee. What a legend with his silver Wookiee badge looking fresh. Hope you well, Lee. gear pin just been removed from the A380 which means it can initiate its taxi soon yep that uh, ground worker will uh, walk out in front of the aircraft so they can be seen from the flight deck and show that pin to the guys in the flight deck to show that it's been removed <clears throat> yeah, you'll just see that there from the guy on the main camera at the moment just to the left of the image he'll hold that up so the uh, pilots can see that the uh, nose wheel steering is now in operation. Obviously it gets disconnected when uh, the pushback happens. Oh, <laughs> we won't see it. Bit we of photo bombs. We may do. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Quick. There you go, I think it's just showing. He's just showing it, yeah, he's just yeah. showing it, hasn't he? Yep. Matt Cam's catching the BA going into STS there as well. Oh, nice, nice to see. Cool shot. Yeah, no, I know another thing about STS with British Airways is uh, BA were quite limited in their maintenance ops uh, down at Heathrow, uh, and it was causing them a few issues. So now they're having a bit of an overflow here at Manchester for some of their aircraft to get maintenance uh, work done here at the STS hangar. And uh, Lauren just said, I've just checked my membership to see how long out of curiosity, and I've been a member for 11 months and 16 days. Hey. Hey, not far to go at all, Lauren, till the one year badge then. Cheers for supporting the channel for this long. Cheers, Lauren. And uh, do we still have John Feather in the chat oh. as we uh, draw towards the end of today's show? We'll keep an eye out on Twitch, see who's, uh, who's going to bag a raid today. Nice. Yeah, Lauren's another one of them, among others who, like, it seems like just yesterday they signed up for VIP. <laughs> we still have people saying to us uh, that they were here for the quizzes during lockdowns. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow, that was like almost three years ago now. Nuts. Okay, the A318 now on the move. Yeah, we'll catch that. We'll catch that and then we'll wrap on that then. Vwelling Disneyland Paris special, uh, 10 minutes out. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll grab that one then for you guys. Don't want you to miss a, yeah, that's cool. miss a special scheme. And uh, Paul Taylor, a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Welcome, dude. Thank you very much. It's one for uh, Mrs. Airliners Live. Yeah, I know she's, she's not, uh, not much in the chat today, but if someone can get a photo of it, get yeah. in the VIP lounge, that would be very nice. Yeah, Jen's with her mum and dad, and uh, I think her brother pops over this morning as well. not seen her brother for quite a while, actually. But, uh, yeah, popped over with uh, with mum and dad to obviously celebrate Mother's Day. Really and, great. Uh, managed to bag some lamb chops from the farm shop yesterday, so... Nice. Going to be cooking them for tea when we get in. Graham saying that BA are using Titan aircraft due to maintenance issues. Oh, really? I've heard also that was part of the reason why they were using the, um, the wide bodies on some of the small hops, like Dublin and... Is it Madrid, Frankfurt, I think, maybe? Places like that. Yeah, a real bottleneck in the BA operations. Wait, Flemmer, you're going to Disneyland Paris? What? <laughs> Just by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> this is another thing we've not got an invite for. How old are you? <laughs> Something not telling us, Flemo. You went to Disneyland uh, not too long ago, didn't you, uh, Matt? Was that Paris yeah, as well? Yeah, I was there last May. Uh, I was there last May, me, yeah. How is the Paris Disneyland then? Because I think I went as a kid to the Florida one. Quite good. Take your wallet. <laughs> Take your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, I can imagine. I think that's a given with places like that. Yeah. No, but it's a great place. Really, like, and uh, of course, like, at the minute now for the next 12, 18 months, they're going to be extending the park as well, which was vast as it was, but now they're extending it to make it even bigger, so it should be fantastic. Is it close to Paris, is it? Or is it, like, kind of in the area, or is it really close? Uh, uh, about three or four stops on the train out of the city yeah oh wow not far at all then here we go jet 2757 now lined up ready to take off and michael crowther welcome back returning airliners live vip thank you Jen's begging me to do Orlando. Orlando, that's a... Well, the Disney World there is epic. It's like... Like... Oh, my gosh. I just, just, like, I just can't imagine. Jen hates chaos. Oh, yeah, exactly. When we went to, like... 
Edinburgh and Edinburgh Castle, there was just too many people and she didn't enjoy it because like she, she just doesn't enjoy being in like massive crowds of people but then she just really wants to go to Disneyland and I'm like is that not literally the busiest place in the world <laughs> yeah it does get very bu- I don't know like maybe off season you could go maybe because it's Orlando and it? it's gonna be warm yeah like this time of year but I remember it, it was that busy that to get on any of the big rides you had to like book a time slot and sometimes you could be waiting like a day for that time slot to come around. So you'd have to like, um, you know, you could be waiting hours to wait in what was like the fast track. And you had to pay for that as well because the queues were that big. 7-5 on the roll. There we go. Mega departure, that one. Really good. I think one of the charms as well with Disneyland is also like, yeah, just how much is there and how much to see there is. Like, mm. like the amount of attention to detail and the characters and the exploration. Yeah, Kyle on Twitch saying, um, I prefer Universal and the Islands of Adventure. Hmm. Uh, Universal LA is amazing um, as it's on the lot. LA is a long way to go as well. Hey, Randy, welcome back. 21 months of Airliners Live membership saying good afternoon from the colonies. Another outstanding stream, you guys rock. Thank you very much. It's great to have you with us. And cheers for the long support. Yeah, that was a 35-year-old 757. A lot of the 75s here at Manchester are around that age. I think the oldest is 35 as well. Alpha India is the oldest, which is a dot com liveried with no winglets. And it looks like uh, we got a Jet 2 to land, um, 737, in from Chambry. The 8380 will get out, and then following that in will be the uh, Vwelling. Disney World in Florida is the size of Greater Manchester. What? It's actually that big? Yeah, Jen said it was huge. Gee, I, I knew it was big, but wow. It takes days just to see it, have you see it all, apparently. Wow. God. Now there's these rooms called Animal Kingdom where you, your room, you have a balcony which is just like, and giraffes just come up to your balcony. and like, Wow. I think there's one of them in, in the Midlands, isn't there? Is it like East Midlands Zoo or something? I'm not sure. I think they're looking at doing that in Chester Zoo as well, but it's not the same, really, is it, when it's chucking it down? And, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Some soaking wet through giraffe just yeah. comes up and starts smudging your windows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I remember when, when we went, it was super humid, and it makes it, like, really tropical feeling, like this, like, animal kingdom. Like, you're in the... You're in, like, the... Uh, the tropics of the forests and stuff but yeah if it was in the UK it wouldn't quite be as uh, <laughs> as exciting there's a Jet 2 7 3 7 8 hundred touching down Boy, give that nose wheel a whack mm. and there should be oh no there'll be one more arrival I think which might be the Vwelling. It is the Vwelling, yeah. yeah. So the A38 is going to hold for the Vwelling then. Nice. So, yeah, guys. That wraps us up quite nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, get your screenshots ready and your Twitch <laughs> clips ready because we're going to get a Vwelling special. <laughs> Disney World special, just to wrap up the little Disney World chat. I assume Vwelling fly to uh, Paris. Don't forget to give that like button a click guys we're only 100 likes away from 2000 can we get 2000 likes before the a380 leaves us for today's show 2000 that's huge thanks for everyone tuning in thanks to everyone who's become vips on today's channel as well on today's stream sorry really appreciate it everyone 
shooting guard to take the country to the last mile of the ACA to be captured. And thanks again, yeah, to our mods. Loopy absolutely smashing it as well today. Yeah, great job, Loops. And all the other mods, of course. Usually Matt's always in there, but obviously Matt's... Uh... Yeah. I've seen he said it's been really busy today, and I haven't seen any of it, which means he's doing an absolutely mega job. <laughs> yeah. Well done, dude. But here it is. Welling special. Cheers, Lee, for the heads up. And Gary, welcome tuning in from Stansted. Unfortunately, you're joining us right at the end of today's show, Gary, but make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss Wednesday's show at 10 a.m. Yep. And you're just in time to catch the arrival of this Disney World special and the departure of the King of the Skies, the A380. It's a wrap today's show. Have we just hit 2K likes? Hey. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much, everyone. Got a picture of this for John on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, someone got a screenshot of this <coughs> for the, uh, the VIP lounge. I think Jen would appreciate it. Yeah, tag that. Mrs. Airliners live in if you can, guys. My pictures aren't coming out very good at this one. Awesome scheme. I love the blue. Yeah, Tinkerbell, is it, on the front? Mm. Really smart, that. going to be the same on both sides I think there's another character on the other side I can't remember what it is flashing of the lights as well <laughs> Mega. Hey. awesome special scheme that that was a screenshot with the uh, the wave and the special scheme that's awesome yeah, we'll get that on our socials for sure. Great screen, uh, scheme by uh, Vwelling. This Disney uh, Disneyland Paris special coming in from Barcelona today here at Manchester Airport. And the castle at the back of the scheme there as well. Beautiful. Nice, that one. I, I, I hope that comes in again. I can get a, uh, a picture of that. Yeah, that's awesome. So we've got one more arrival before the Emirates A380 departs. They're uh, lining them up today. <clears throat> it's the EasyJet flight from Innsbruck. Me and John flew in there the other day. If you want to uh, get involved in me and uh, John's flights, we fly on Vatsim. You just need to join the Discord server. And uh, we also fly on Volanta as well. So you can add us as a friend on Volanta. Just search for Airliners Live or John Fezzer. And uh, come and join us on some Vatsim flights. The A380 is now on the move, guys. Ready to depart. 2 3 right in Manchester. And we'll get one last Matt Cam shot of this 737 pulling on to stand to wrap up today's show. There we go, lovely view there. An easy jet whiskey Yankee vacating. And the Emirates A380 lining up for its departure here from the runway Visitor Park. Should get an awesome view of this. And the A380 will be our final departure for today. A massive thanks to everyone tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. It's been an awesome one. Loads of waves today as well. There you go, Emirates A380 on the roll. Enjoy this, guys.
Yeah, the easy jet, getting out the way nice and quick as well. Giving us a nice clear view for the king of the skies. There you go. The Emirates A380 departing Manchester Airport. 4K here on Airliners Live. Super Sunday show. That was epic. What an awesome show, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks to everyone who signed up to support the show today as well. Um, we'll get away from Matt Cam as well when he's uh, he's still look how dedicated he's still tracking the A380 there <laughs> we'll, uh, give us a wave Matty boy before we uh, we wrap up today's show but thank you everyone for tuning in hope you've enjoyed the Super Sunday show and uh, hope you've also enjoyed the multicam today we are going to look at bringing multicam to there he is there's Matty boy we are looking at bringing multicam to a couple of midweek shows here and there as well guys so if you want to support, support us with that then uh, there he is. Uh, give us a, uh, a wave. Perfect, perfect. If you do want to support us with that, guys, the best way to do that is by becoming one of our awesome VIPs. But uh, that's going to wrap us up for today. Uh, my name's been Martin here from Airliners Live. We've had Andy upstairs on the camera and Mr. Matty Boy Smith on the uh, B camp. And that's going to wrap up of the Super Sunday show today. Thank you for tuning in. We've been Atlanta's live. Yeah, been cheers. awesome. Is Fester doing this show tomorrow? I would have, I would hope so, yeah. yeah. Is he feeling better now? Yes, I think so. Yeah, obviously his last show wasn't on because he wasn't feeling too good. But yeah, tomorrow should be back live in the simulator, Monday nights at 6pm with the flight nights with John Fezzer. And then as Martin said, Wednesday we'll be back here at uh, Manchester Airport. Yeah, okay. make sure you tune in for that. Links are in the chat. We're live 6 p.m. tomorrow with the Fez. But uh, that's going to wrap up our Super Sunday show, guys. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you all next week. Bye.